you know, there's a lot of haters out there, and they always say the same thing to me. I'm in the grocery store, I'm out take, walking the dogs, and people stop me on the street and they say, I knew you would never show your face again. Yeah, they look at me and they say, nice wig. Nice wig. Ah, oh, Ela, your hair looks awesome, dude. Why don't you... So, Ela... Okay, let me give you some background. It's not a wig. Ela... The um, haters are gonna hate. Your hair looks awesome. You look great. Thank you. You have, like, these beautiful That's steel blue eyes that work really good with the gray color. It looks awesome. Somehow, like, your the hair, like, lightened your eyes. Really? Somehow. Yeah, like, wow. more gray. They look more gray. I feel like that's something my mom would say. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we noticed details about you. <laughs> and so, well, here's the thing, though. You start this. Has anyone ever heard of this before? Ela started doing her hair at, at 10 a.m. And guess when she finished? Dan, guess when she finished? Well, I already told him. Oh, I told I already you already? So. She finished doing her hair at, t like, t past 10 p.m. Yeah. It was over 12 <laughs> hours. Stop! <laughs> it was so long. And I was long. starting to get irritated because, like, <clears throat> she just sit, like, she, I mean, what the f have you I ever know, heard of but, that? Bruh. But it, my hair is so dark and it's thick and it's a full head of hair. And also, the guy wanted to do it responsibly, so he wanted to do it in sections so that when he finishes one section, he's not still working up here and then that goes too long. He did a good so, job. AB, why saying. don't you tell him what you just said before the show that happened to Lena? What? Yeah, Lena was going from dark to light once, and like it took like they kind of rushed it, I guess, because it only took like six hours. But her hair started like fall out in oh, chunks. Shit. Like she was like crying in the middle <laughs> oh, of the place. No. So bad. <laughs> I guess that's, that's six. Awful. Well, I, who knew that it took you had to spend so much time? So they made the blunder that he was trying to avoid. It sounds like, yeah, because they probably bleached her all over hair and they couldn't took get it so off. So much patience. I, I was thinking to myself, this is the most patient guy. Yeah, he was to ever yeah, exist. Like Zen. So Lena's hair started falling out. Got overcooked. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Started falling, like it chunks, and like days after, she would still like. Oh, no. oh yeah, 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 bro. Oh my god. It was, I felt so, so bad. Was it? It was starting was to that a while ago? Because she has really long hair now. I'm sorry. What was it? What a was while it? ago? Oh yeah, it was a while ago. Oh. It was like two or three years ago. Was it falling out in the chair as they were cutting it? Yeah. Well, and so, I, what, what happens in that situation? <laughs> Do they still want her to pay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still want her to pay, and it didn't even turn out like blonde. It wasn't like blonde, oh, blonde no. like she wanted. It was yeah, so like a darker blonde. I love when someone oh like God. fucks up their service so bad and then and you still like, have to pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that will be $600. I mean, it's six hours. Even bruh. though you hate yourself right now, you still need to pay for it. All right. Well, well I, I did it. I finally did it. I think the podcast was what pushed me to it because we kept talking about it. How like I always wanted to do something and my parents wouldn't let me. And so I was like... Time to take charge show of that. my own life. Um, <laughs> you should show the whole look that you're working with. For sure. I know. Up, I, I, Ila, I put a whole Just look. put your boots up. Throw the just boots up. Your, yeah, just throw Let's the boots up. And it's like no one's going to see it. Just I'm, throw the boots up. Okay, well, I got a, this is the shirt that I made at first handmade, and then we reproduced it. Oh, or, this is the reproduction. Then. This is yeah. the reproduction that mm -hmm. we'll sell. Let's see the boots. Come That's on, Doc Marins. Oh. Yes, mistress. Yes, mistress. <laughs> oh, that's hot. I'll no, lick your book, it. mistress. Don't do it. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Just mommy. Thank you. That's hot. Thank you, Thank you to all our members. You guys make it all possible. Members. We love our members. I would fondle. What would I do? I would do terrible things to our members. Don't say that. I would do anything for them. And you would do really thank nice you, things thank for them. Thank you, thank you. I mean, ter you'd, terrible You'd just be really that. nice. You'd be like, oh, you're such a nice person. No, I would, I would do terrible you'd things. You'd flatter them For like them, though, day. not to them. They would be like, Ethan, I want you to fucking lick my butthole before I wipe. <laughs> I would be like, yes, mistress. <laughs> no. Yes, no. mistress. I'm just saying I would do terrible you things. Feel free to unsub. <laughs> what? <laughs>
I'm trying to make this happen, dude. Why are you undermining my work? Anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> you know, we didn't um, we didn't have a pre-release today, an early release for the for the members, which this week, you mean? Yeah, we've just been kind of backed up with all the scare from last week, and we're trying to figure out new formats for the show. Let's be honest, the uh, Make Ethan Laugh was, was, it was fine, but it was, it didn't hit hard. No. <clears throat> so I have an idea for another show that I want to try next week that we will pre-release for our mem our beautiful members. I did feel like, um, for once, I actually felt like I was able to read constructive criticism in the in the comments and yeah. not, like, feel like, oh, these are just haters. Yeah, because you weren't involved at all in it, in that one. Maybe. Did you feel like... <laughs> well, no, I, I felt, no, there was a lot of constructive criticism. <laughs> That I agreed with, you know. There's a difference between people who are like obviously fans of the show, and then like when you go on a random Reddit thread where, where yeah. like a clip of you, and Ethan are like, should just quit already. Yeah, wow, I, he still, yeah, you know, people say the meanest fucking shit about you, and it's like, damn, stop, you know. <laughs> but hey, forget about it. We here, we here, baby. I was wondering, do I who just you look kidding, like Andy eh? Warhol now? Which no. I'm fine with. You don't look like Andy Warhol, okay. like a bowl cut. <laughs> you don't. Your hair looks bomb, dude. You're like a mil. You're like a milf uh, Billy Eilish. Oh, that's cool. Milf Billy Eilish. That's cool. I like yeah. that. God, you're so beautiful. Oh, Vin Diesel likes the hair. Uh oh. What do you think about Ella's uh, hair, Vin? But I go for blondes or brunettes. I go for anyone who'll go for me. Oh. Is he, that new? Yeah, well, it sounds like he says he'll go for anyone that'll go for him. <laughs> but that's oh not well Vin, well, Vin Diesel, based on the interview we saw, that's not exactly true because she didn't really seem interested, but you were very aggressive. So Not you, always. Not always. Okay. <laughs> what? Vin Diesel. He's uh, added some to his repertoire. <laughs> Did we get like a Vin Diesel expansion pack? Yeah. How much was this DLC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DLC, yeah. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Quip and Honey. We love them. Okay, here's the exciting announcement. It's been a long time, but we finally added new items to the h3h3shop.com, including, I'm happy to announce, uh, uh -oh. this smells like my butthole. Wow! All profits go to colon cancer research and help. We found, was it, uh, we already found a, Charity, it doesn't say on here, but it's like the fucking Ask Cancer Society. Uh, no. No, it does say on here. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> Pride News. I, sorry. And, Why do you? <laughs> well, you know. I knew it was something like Prostate Cancer Society. Something straightforward. So we're here to support our, and, and, and you know, yesterday was Men's Day, so we're here to support oh. our men. <clears throat> yeah. So that's exciting. There's limited quantity, so hurry now and get yours <laughs> while supplies last. This is kind of epic that we made this, I have I to know. say. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I'm excited for people to get it and maybe the film H3 the reaction. Group. If you buy one of these, film the reaction to one of <laughs> oh, your That's a fantastic idea. And send us the videos, because yeah. that will be so fun. Because I guarantee you, w this truly is a, a horrific scented candle. And, and there's really nothing <laughs> like it on the market, I would dare to even say. So buy this. So oh. It makes a really good Christmas present because people are just going to be like. It always takes like a second. Ew, shit. Yeah. Fuck. That is just so fucking terrible. You can really learn how long, how <laughs> what, long it, it travels, how long it takes. What I recommend to do Deep is just be like, hey, Merry Christmas, everyone. Puss the candle out, light it, and see how long it takes for people to notice. <laughs> you know? And then people will be like. Oh, and when you. Ugh, now it's even worse. And they'll be like, damn, like burnt what does that ass. smell? And you'll be like, oh, it uh, smells like my butthole. <laughs> Don't, haven't you heard of that? <laughs> and then they eat and the I just, poo poo. I just want people's genuine reaction to, <laughs> to this candle existing. Booty perfume. Parfume. Uh, Booty perfume. It's gross. You Deep touch the wax and then smell your finger. Do it. Come on, you look for me. Come on, touch the wax, smell your finger. I did it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> hard, dude. 
And uh, I just want to give a they shout really... out again to uh, to Liam, our fan Liam, who yeah. uh, made this all happen, and his crew at Aroma <laughs> Aroma Prime. <laughs> oh yeah, the geniuses in the lab at Aroma Prime who uh, came up with that wonderful smell. Uh, thank you again. Thank you, and thank you. I honestly, thank you, you are the man for you, making that happen. You. I'm so impressed by by the work that that they did. So Aroma Prime. Genius. Ugh, fuck, dude. My fingers smell like I just itched my asshole. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. I mean, it really delivered. Um, besides this, though, let's see. We got all kinds of fun new merch. Yeah. Of course, who could... I don't... Ugh, okay, don't don't even ask me to explain it. Don't explain too much. I Pedophile think. Santa. <laughs> because last year we did Vaping Santa, and that was like our big thing. <laughs> I changed the name to Inmate Santa to avoid the, the whole pedophile angle. Okay, but. yeah, that, that makes sense, but it's Pedophile Daddy? Santa. Here, how do I get a close photographic? Oh, here. It's Santa on a, uh... <laughs> what do you call that? The a lineup? lineup? Yeah. yeah. Lineup. Would you trust this man to deliver packages to your children? Think again. Daddy? So it started with, like, a Hago Santa, whatever, <laughs> and then uh, and then we were like, well, let's put him up on... I was like, you yeah, know, let's put him up in a lineup and then <laughs> call him a pedo. And let's see, I think it's time we confront the, the nasty truth that Santa most likely is a pedo because, you know, it's like, just look at the circumstantial evidence, you know. Guy comes in the middle of the night. <laughs> everybody's sleeping. He's bringing... Pre he's leaving presents for the kids. Yeah, naughty. For the kids. He's got kids on his naughty list, whatever that means. All right. Or nice, Daddy? whatever nice means. You know, let's be honest. The, the dude is a fucking, I would not trust Santa around my kids. God, fuck no. And then this is kind of like our ugly sweater, pedo Santa, where that's your Christmas uh, party. I think it's going to be a hit. I think people are going to take notice. We put the vape sleeves. Does that fit? Well, on the... Well, no, it doesn't. You know, no, it doesn't really. But I wanted to put something on the sleeve, and um, maybe it should have been jail bars or something. They're saying it's content court, the Santa. Better. content court Santa. Content court Santa. No, it's like real court Santa. Uh, this one is the Gerd Gang. You know, this is another fan made illustration. Oh yeah, someone in Discord made this. What was her name? Her She's... name's uh, Kath. And, Kath, uh, she's great. Yeah, Look she's, at this. She's, uh, two of these designs are from her. She, uh, she's a talent. I really like this shirt, Gerd Gang. So if you want to represent your Gerd, Gerd Gang. Gang! There you go. Yeah, this, I'm pretty happy with this stuff this year, you know? Gerd Gang. Oh, the H3 Podcast uh, Class of 2020. <laughs> we got all of our yearbook photos because we had this great segment. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, Ian stole the show. Honestly, I would he buy a shirt with just Ian. Yeah, I honestly Ian just want Ian, a picture of <laughs> Ian's like that. Like, that's true. Like, can we? Is it too late to do that, Dan? Can we just get a shirt of Ian's face? And it's a. And I want I the. Think we need Ian's permission yeah, for that. Yeah. Oh, we do. <laughs> Ian, can we do that? Volunteer that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then the yeah, You might want to renegotiate. I would rate that. for that one. Yeah, I that's actually wear... good point, Dan. Thank you. Good point, Dan. <laughs> That well, should all, be your manager. All the, all the proceeds is being <laughs> divided up among the gang like yeah. we did last year. So these are going to support everybody. It is not just making Mr. Monopoly trillionaire, me, richer. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. In fact, last year, if I can even go as far to uh, talk myself up, I, we gave all of the money to them. So, so <laughs> that's a right? surprise. So yeah. this, this year not all No, they don't get everything. <laughs> it's a demotion. <laughs> well, I, well, it was a surprise last year, so. Yeah. But they probably will, yeah. They'll probably get everything to split amongst <laughs> themselves. It's like we a nice Christmas ourselves. bonus. But last year, was it was great. And uh, so please support us. But yeah, can we get a picture of Ian? And I like it, the caption to say, um, be careful who you make fun of in high school. And then on the back, I want to put <laughs> Ian, a picture of Ian now. You know what I mean, Ian? It's like, uh, don't make fun of this. <laughs> you, you know what I I'm saying? I think without the picture of him, no. I think just that is so powerful. J do you like the caption? Be careful you make fun of in high school. I do if it's really small. Yeah, like, like when you make fun of someone, then it shows me now, and it shows how much You're of a swan. downward spiral someone can <laughs> take after. <laughs> be Turn careful. into a robot. If you bully somebody that hard. You ruin yeah. his fight. Be Things careful really you make tank. fun of high school. You can ruin their life. <laughs> yeah. They'll turn into a robot. <laughs> 
I like that. You can oh, no. the whole the whole you like the twist the whole sentence. You can ruin their life. Wow. So so wow. <laughs> Ian, make it happen. Your girlfriend's the graphic I designer. I think it Let's should go. be like. Is that photo in full color, Ian? Yeah. I think it should be in full color and like super eighties, like soft vibes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll go design my own humiliation. Yes. We'll get that out there. <laughs> we love it. I think that one will be popular. I would wear that proudly. And then there's another one by the same girl, Kath. While you were partying, I studied the blade. It's awesome. I love that. And there's one more. Um, this one, which is the the ensemble, the whole ensemble together in one shirt. <laughs> We got That's the crew, I. we got A.B., Dan, A.I., Ian, Zach, the pups. It's all happening here today on the HB Podcast, After Dark, live. There you have it. Cool. So support the Nash. Gabish? We're getting a lot of donations about Hila's hair. Oh. oh, go ahead and read some. Um, so Carolyn says, Hila, you queen. I'm a hairstylist and have dreamed of this moment. It looks fantastic. Oh. You did a great job. Thank this you. This look gives me vibes, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Daniel Vibes. said, Daniel said, Ela is a hot punk mom we all dreamed about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chant Chanty, I believe, said, Ela, where did you get your jacket? Supreme, baby. There you go. And Clay said, Ela's new hair. Now that's what I call hip hop. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then James for $5 says, have you guys discussed Vin Diesel's newfound love for TikTok? Hmm? What? Wait, what? what? No. Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, Vin Diesel's into TikTok now. I don't know. We have to look, into, look into it. Yet? I mean, yeah. live, I mean, find it. Let's go. All right, I'm on it. I don't know if I'm ready for 2020 Vin Diesel, though, because I feel like he's probably a normal guy now. <laughs> no, he's not. No, no. no. He's already, <laughs> dude, he's already put out two crazy ass singles oh, this year. That, that's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I think he's married with kids now. He's no longer like, talk to me, baby. Does he have kids? Well, well. I mean, dads are dads definitely are pretty creepy. I don't know. I wouldn't put anything past them. Okay, okay. I wouldn't put anything past that man. <laughs> Talk to me, baba. Okay, Talk so you guys remember the Ace Family Content Court and the soundbite that we love to use, where the guy going stop. Well, if so, we discovered somebody pointed out to us that stop! if you watch back the original video, yeah. you can hear the guy yelling "stop" no. in the background. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to hear. You have to listen closely. Here, listen. Ready? The pool. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! So like, but my what I'm thinking is like, if we could hear it, they could definitely hear it. Oh my! They god. definitely heard the guy saying "stop," and they ignored the poor guy. What? He's like, look at the scene. Here, watch the scene. Because he's going, it's so serene and beautiful so and the pool and the jet ski. My life is perfect. And the guy's like, stop! You're ruining <laughs> my yard! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, he's displacing a shitload of water. You freaking give me anxiety every day. You gotta live a every little. Every single day you give me anxiety. You gotta live a little. No, that's not living. <laughs> Hey family, you only live once, like I always say, so why not live it up? Look at this, for where I am. Throw me the camera, throw me here. the camera. Throw so me, throw so me. here it comes. Just, man, just Beautiful. look at this. Perfect. The jet ski, the pool. You hear it? <laughs> stop. Hit me with that, Zach. Hit me with the stop soundbite. That is priceless. Stop! So now here, match it up. Stop! Here it is. Look at this, for where I am. Throw me the camera, throw me the camera. Throw it, throw it. Just, man, just look at this. The jet ski, the pool. <laughs> I have so the quiet one you. isolated, too. What? I have the quiet one isolated as well. Let's hear hit, it. Yeah, hit it, hit it. <laughs> Dude, you know you heard him. So I gotta what figure out how a piece of shit. Yeah. So I got my shoes on still. <laughs> Oh, you can see how Stop! much water is on his, like, grass yeah. down here. Wow. What? Bro, you are out of fucking control. Stop! Stop! Because, <laughs> you know, there was a big... I was wondering, can, could he hear him? Yeah. Oh, he definitely this, heard him. The jet ski, the pool. I love this. And that Stop! <laughs> this is I gotta figure out how to get out of here. 
<laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> that's my favorite thing. You know thing. what would be funny? Rewind, like, made from the perspective of everyone that suffered hmm. secondhand oh, that's the making sketch. of a video. That's a really good <laughs> sketch idea. The YouTube, or not even YouTubers now, it's like TikTokers are even like, yeah, that the big too. ones. Like, influencer, the influencer uh, yeah, uh, the, casualties. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. So shout out to whoever sent us that. I and fucking that's love amazing. it. That Stop! Play that, and whole... then play the quiet one, Zach. Stop! <laughs> play them closer, so it's like an echo. Play the loud one, then the quiet one. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's the best thing ever. All right. Uh... Oh, that's from Lucas. Shout out to Lucas, my man, my fucking legend. Okay, you guys, you guys, tell me what you think, because, like, after dark, I've got all this content I want to talk to you guys about, but then we have a tons of video clips. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking for a fourth episode that we could pre-record and release early for the members is a clips show, Ethan.0. Point <laughs> Help us think of a name if you guys like the idea, but it's just me reacting to internet clips viral clips So a couple of ideas was fat idiot watches online Reacts to online videos. Maybe we could think of an acronym or something or like I like know, it. I, I always thought ridiculousness was such a dumb title. So something like uh, It would be funny if we could title it retardedness, but we can't yeah <laughs> That would be funny. Yeah, but you can't do it. But like just a, just Bruh. to just to make fun of that dumb fuck show. Yeah, idiotness. Idiotness. It's just it doesn't, doesn't have the work. same. Yeah. Um. You got retardedness. You got Ethan Point oh, or you got like Ethan because Tosh Point oh, I mean, I I guess you guys got kind of defensive of Tosh last time, but a idiot, parody on the name. Idiot reacts. Fat fucking loser watches dumb stupid <laughs> fuck. Here, people are throwing in. Stop! Poopa point oh. Poopa point oh. Gerd point oh. I mean, I like a name. E equals H3. H3 point oh. Equals H3. We're coming Pretty up fun. with an equation here. Yeah, E equals H3 squared. Oh, there, just when you said it. E equals H3. The uh, thing is, I want a title that, like, fart. indicates. Fart. Fat idiot reacts to. Fart. Oh, fat fart. Fart. Mm. Fat. Oh yeah, the idiot. There's the, uh, that's not a good acronym. Oh, it's it a bad doesn't acronym. Work. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's a bad acronym. <laughs> but I want a title that like describes you what. Could do, you could do flirt, <coughs> which is fat, lame, idiot reacts what to. What is it? What's that acronym? Oh, flirt. 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 <laughs> Stupid. I made that up. I wanna. I mean, I want a title that like first of all says what the series is, and two doesn't turn everybody off immediately from clicking on it. <laughs> Ethan flirts, <laughs> Ethan farts. I mean, guys, come on. We want to Gerdisness. Gerdisness. <laughs> Gerdisness. That's funny. So, oh my goodness. You know. Jew reacts. Jew reacts? <laughs> That's kind of good in a weird way. Because no. it's just so shocking and odd. It's not good. Jew reacts. You're only going to feel to like weirdos, like, I don't even know what. It's but people scary, can never forget that scary name. Side of the Jew internet. reacts. I don't know, I kind of like it, because it's so ridiculous. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, you don't? I thought it was kind of good, because it's just so odd. Jew reacts. Hmm. Rolls off the tongue. Fart is fat asshole reacts to. Fart. So what would you call it, though? Ethan farts? I mean, it doesn't sound like anything I would want to watch. <laughs> Fart compilation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, that's the name we want. You could actually get... Uh, ding, that's clickbait. Yeah, every episode. Because it's Just not fart. <laughs> not a fart compilation. Uh, Jew point oh. I mean, I, I got, people are vetoing the Jew thing, guys. They said Ethan fat Asia. asshole reacts to House of Gerd. What, what, why don't we just call it Ethan Reacts? The soup, I mean, soup. Ethan Reacts. Oh my god. Acidic Hasidic. <laughs> Acidic Hasidic. Acidic, but see that title. No one. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no, it does. It's just funny. I am a Hasidic. Well, I'm not Hasidic. Oh wow! Jews is just Ethan watching show, or you could you could do just Ethan <laughs> watching <laughs> stuff. The Jews. The, the Jews. Jews. <laughs> Jews react. Jews react. <laughs> just Ethan watching stuff. 
What about Ethan Reacts? Let's be honest. Maybe you should pitch it to the Fine Bros if they want to do a spin off Jews React. <laughs> that would they do? They would not hesitate to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they yeah, they do. Oh, there you got They'd that. be like, okay, let's do Jews elderly. Jews, Jews react to Nazi Jews uh, imagery. Being. They would do shit like that. <laughs> Jews react to Nazi imagery. Jewishness. African Americans uh, re react to uh, slave era movies. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan reacts. Let's be honest. That says it all, right? React hard. I saw some say react hard. That's pretty funny. Uh, Mor morbid obesity. Mor That's the title. Mean, what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> All right. Well, keep sending them. Keep an eye on those guys because I do want a good. Fat Ashkenazi. Oh, fart. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep keep the suggestions coming. Keep an eye out for some good ones, guys. Jewish halal show. I Jewish keep halal. Saying that. Jews don't do halal. <laughs> the halal part's for me. <laughs> do kosher. Kosher reactions. That's not bad. Judiciousness. Judiciousness. <laughs> <clears throat> the problem with the like ironic title like that, like ridiculousness, is that it gets lost in the sauce and people just think you actually think that's a good title. Yeah. <clears throat> you know? Ethan Knightley. Yeah, that's Clickbait fair. Academy. <clears throat> Idiot Reacts Live, which is IRL. Fat. Oh, all right. I'm gonna, you no. Should I watch this or should we keep reading? I think we had enough, probably. <laughs> all right. Samurai hairstyle. Stop! Sitting in hats. Choose sitting in hats live. <laughs> So, Ila, is this the guy who cut your hair last night? Oh, okay. Why? 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 Lo que hacemos nosotros aquí es algo que ha nacido It's aquí en Madrid, en España. Blade. Se corta con espadas. A mí me, me, me llamó oh, mucho la atención si like. el arte. Cuando I mean, I wouldn't have a guy, with, I wouldn't have this dude swinging swords around my fucking head. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's definitely, he's definitely taken someone's ear off or dug into their shoulder. Like, you're telling me accidents don't happen with this dude? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy is not some, like, disciplined samurai and, you know. A little cut here, a little cut on the neck sometimes. Only five clients have died in my 30 years. Rosa added like a... Bro, what are you doing? Here we go, put on the claws. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what, the, what those even do. <laughs> What? I like that he's talking about being practical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, practical. It's a bunch of little claws and burning and samurai. Samurai sword is the epitome of practical haircutting. This guy is really like the art of ruining your hair. He's burning it. That's not good. I don't think so. Whenever I, I burn anything, it looks awful afterwards. Cosas del pasado que hemos olvidado. <laughs> Moses from 20 years. Moses if he was a hairstylist. <laughs> these, this guy's like a Fabio thing. I don't think these women know he's terrible. I think, I think they know he's a terrible hairdresser. I think they just like, you know, the whole vibe. It's like that housewife dream boy. What the fuck? So tell me if you think her hair looks good. He probably has like five Oh, he uses scissors. What a fucking loser. Oh, he uses ten scissors at once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and someone is blowing the hair for him. Why are you using five, ten Wait, scissors? Two blow dryers, too. Everything is like, has to be like super ninja-y. 
I don't think that makes a difference. They should do like this with the blow dryers. I said you learn. It's important. Se sorprende que después de haber utilizado esas técnicas el resultado. So let's see the hair. Oh no, I don't like it. Look at her hair. What do you think? Eso es belleza. Eso está fabuloso. I think it looks fine, but if you touch it, it's probably all like burned. Well, it always looks good in the in the salon. I think the true test is when she gets home and like yeah. all the layers are all crazy. Eso es trabajar con el arte del arte. Somos I don't like it. Hoy en día trabajamos right. incluso con el arte con tatuajes. Nosotros, nosotros hemos hecho de nuestro cuerpo un arte también. Todo tiene una explicación. Y como todo, como dice like Arthur, todo tiene una night. evolución. Una cosa te lleva a la otra. If King sí. Arthur was a hairstylist. Desde que aparece algo nuevo. Siempre hay un rechazo. Tengo ya algunos discípulos. Manche oh, es el principal discípulo que he tenido. To try to light one of his farts to cut your sideburns. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> you know, you know how like back. I <laughs> love that fucking soundbite. <laughs> you know, back in the day, um, different dojos like the the sensei would go to different dojos and challenge the other sensei to take over their their oh. students. <laughs> I imagine those other hairdressers who show up with samurai swords <laughs> to take over their their hair salon. Oh my god! All right, you want to talk about Gavin Newsom? <laughs> Stupid idiot. Is there another quick story? We're close to break time. But... Um. Yeah, we have Kenneth Copeland. Which is the best name right now because there's like all these memes about coping with uh, Donald Trump losing. And the fact that his name is Copeland is <laughs> so funny. So here's Den here's Kenneth. We've talked about Kenneth because mm -hmm. he's a he's a tele televangelist who is such an evil fuck. I mean, his whole face is just demonic, you know. People, people say his face, he looks like the villain from The Mask. Do you have those memes? I saw them on the subreddit and they're really accurate. Why don't you guys grab that real quick? Yeah, get send me right. that. Um, man, this guy is something. So here, here's how he reacts to President Tr Trump losing the election. The media said what? <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. <laughs> don't you dummies know God decides who's president? <laughs> Why does All he things are possible life? with God. What I don't get is like God. If God, God did decide who's president, and Joe Biden won, and you just you're you're refusing to acknowledge God's will. You know what I mean? It's like we only agree with God. We only call it God's will when He does what we want Him to do. Mm -hmm. God, God spoke, dude. He didn't want your guy. The media said what? <laughs> what? The media, the media said, said what? Joe Biden's president. Ha 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 ha
oh, you know, we talked about him. He's the guy who goes, all things are possible with God. Yeah. Except Trump winning, apparently. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that was the one thing he couldn't do. Shit. This guy's such a piece of shit, you guys. Fear of this, this coronavirus is, is faith in its ability to hurt you or kill you. Uh, <clears throat> the, 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 the fear Bird of... Gang. What are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? Laid off at, yeah, what? you got to sound like that one, Zach. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, you already have it. <laughs> laid off at work. <laughs> hey, your job's not your source. If it is, you're in trouble. You bet you're fucking ass the job is the source. Jesus is your source. J Jesus ain't what putting is? food in my stomach. No, it's Fuck his not. source. Yeah, it's you, your source. You've done well. Yeah. Off of Jesus. Jesus is your sure. source, but not mine. You know what I mean? Jesus is your source. He's working on that. Jesus is your source. Jesus is your source. <laughs> this is the guy who, by the way, he went viral. We talked about him years ago when he was like, some uh, journalist him. ambushed him on his private jet. He owns like a $200 million private jet. That and, clip's in the dock too. Right yeah. On the okay, yeah. So this guy's a total fuck. I mean, evil, evil dude. Who doesn't pay taxes, by the way, you know? You know, I've heard I, he's a he's a he's a religion. It's it's Jesus Christ and all that, and and uh, the church doesn't pay taxes. But this guy is like all politics. You know, mm -hmm. it's like there needs to be some. I mean, this guy should be paying fucking taxes. He's cruising around in private jets and mansions. He's talking about politics. Taxes, Let's tax a, this motherfucker. Such a loophole. What are we gonna do? I mean, Scientology. They don't pay taxes. Yeah, that was a huge scandal, though. Scientology was like, uh, they basically strong-armed the government. They were mm -hmm. going to attack Scientology, and then they, like, uh, started suing everybody in government and ruining everybody's lives and shit, and they were like, okay, you can... Yeah. I, I want to be... Gerd Gang's a religion. What the fuck am I paying taxes <laughs> for? You know what I mean? Fuck it. Jesus is your source. Jesus is my source. Pay taxes on that shit. Hey, you guys all owe me 10% of your income. <laughs> That's what the church says. You guys all owe me 10% of your income. Come on. If it is, you're in trouble. <laughs> Wink. Jesus is your source. No, Whatever you do right what? now, don't you stop <laughs> tithing. So tithing. Mm. Don't you stop. Maybe I'm the only, because I'm like a Jew and kind of an atheist, agnostic. Tithing is when you, t you buy all the, uh, is, it's a Christian thing or a Catholic thing. I don't know. It's a Jesus thing. You pay 10% of all of your income to the church. So that's what tithing is. So he says, times might be tough because of the COVID, but don't you stop tithing. That sounds insane. People really do that? Bruh. Yeah. 10% of their income? That was Skippy was saying he was going to do. That's like uh, an agent fee. <laughs> That's what they do, man. They're, they're, yeah, they're, exactly. They're all so Hollywood without knowing. <clears throat> they they invented that fucking agent fee, man. Stop sowing offerings. Well, they won't let us go to church. Well, email it in there, text the give or something, but you get your tithe in that church. If you have to go take it Does down Does this guy pay room. tithe on his billion dollars a year? I'd like to know who he tithes to. Fucker. I bet you he doesn't. If I had to guess. He's like, I own the church. Who's tithing? Drop it off and unstick it under the door or something. Right, you right. get that tithe in that church. You get that offering in that church. And Stop! then you go home and you do what we're supposed to do. That's just weird. Like, even if it's, um, even if it comes from a good place, the whole concept of that 10%. You got no that, exemption for that? It's just weird to see him demand it like that. Yeah. I mean, you. And then, well, and then, and then, see it next to this one here. People are not even working right now. See, see him demanding you, it next to this. We just like to ask you about why you don't want to fly commercial. Why yeah, have you said that one. you won't fly commercial? You said that it's like. Hit me with that. You have any ten percent sound bites? Now's a good time. Into a tube with a bunch of demons. Why do you think? Oh that? yeah, he said flying well, coaches is, is like being on a tube with a bunch of demons, dude. This guy's fucking so good. Listen to me just singing. Not the people. The main reason is because of the need. If, if I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. That's really the main. Isn't it true that you want to fly commercial so that you can fly in luxury? How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? 
Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen. This woman's amazing. <laughs> I paid. He's so not down with this. <laughs> He's he ready to kill her. He guard here, okay. Certainly. Well, if you'd like to come out here, I'd like to give you a chance to, to oh. catch your breath and, this and have great. a conversation. We don't want to, we don't want to, to catch see, you off I'd guard. love to see well, our then. politicians being grilled like this. <laughs> Inside Edition. You got to get this now. Hey, you listening to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, got him. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Help me. Just, let me. Let me pray. Well, well let, me, let me just ask you a really simple question. A lot of people like think it's unbecoming for a preacher He's to got demonize, bro. Straight up demonize. Live a life of luxury and to fly around in private jets. What's your response to that? Very simple. It takes a lot of money to do what we do. We have brought over a hundred. Let's see. This the latest figures just came mm -hmm. out. He's sweating, man. Uh, 122 million people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me give you another example. What did that even mean? Last May, I was scheduled for Lagos, Nigeria. That's a long ways. I had a week off, and I was scheduled for Peru. And I prayed about it, and I thought, I'm not missing that dedication in Jerusalem without the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry. And I didn't pay anywhere. And Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made, it, he made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. Well, my question then, what, what, what? Can you look what? it up? Can you look up how much he paid for the plane? What is that supposed to mean? Spoke. He made it so damn cheap, it was only a hundred million dollars. This person said, in Germany, you pay 7% church tax by default, collected out of your monthly paycheck. Oh, yeah, I've heard about to that. To get rid of it, you have to excommunicate from your religion. Yeah, I, that's, yeah, that, I learned, well, I, I went to Germany for exchange ship in high school, and that shit blew my fucking mind. And, and yeah, one, they take it straight out of your fucking check, bro. Oh, I, I they, just never knew you. They garnish your wages. Oh yeah, like foreign exchange student. I yeah, oh, yeah, Ethan. Yeah. Was... I don't think you've ever mentioned that. Really? It was a long time ago. I was in high school. Yeah, I went to Germany That's for a, crazy a month. Experience though. That's oh, it was just a month. Yeah, it's, it was a okay. month. Yeah, it was a month. Not like a whole semester or something. That's this cool. article from the Washington Post said fifty-four million. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he made it so damn made cheap it for so me. Cheap. Yeah. I, I just had to buy it. Fifty-four million. Dude, Tyler Perry is rich as a motherfucker. Bro, also, um, someone for... else here said 100% uh, Christian thing. Catholic churches just do donations with those weird baskets. Yeah. Just an important note. I'm down most with the Catholic shit. Don't like the concept. So, correct me if I'm wrong. The Catholics are the people who are just do whatever they want kind of vibe? No. Or what? is that the... <laughs> or Catholic is the Pope shit? Yeah. Ca so, yes. what's the difference between ca Christian... The fuck is Christian Catholic? Because the Pope is Catholic. Yeah, Isn't that the Christian there, thing? There was this thing called the schism. Uh, the schism? <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or rather, the schism was when the Orthodox Church broke off. It's the Reformation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like Martin Luther, you've probably heard of before. E Catholicism used to be the dominant, like the one big Christian religion, but it's, it's since broken off into tons of subgroups. But isn't, Christianism. Christ, isn't Christianity like the whole? Uh, yes, yeah, Christianity is. You could, Christianity refers to all Christians. That's that's all. Type, that includes Catholics. So what did her Protestants. comment mean? What is what? Because she said it's a Christian thing. Um, the comment. Well, the tithing is in the New Testament, I believe. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's in the New Testament, guys. Come on. <laughs> just, the guy who's who, the guy who's like, and also you have to give me ten percent of your money. Now I can't find it again. Okay. Well, Copeland. Sorry. Okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because okay. people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. Okay. I love your eyes. And uh, calm down. Here's Jeff. what happened. We flew in 21 days, 70 hours, 40,000 miles. There's a part where he gets really upset. I know we watched this video, but man, it's yeah. so good. Just running off all this, like he. There's a part where he gets really mad here. I think it's like right here. He like snaps. People, I'm talking about the Bible. The blessing of Abraham. The blessing Abraham. of Abraham. Look at his neck. Bruh. 
his neck shit jiggle when he shakes his head. <laughs> and he had a covenant with God. Not the, it's not the Jewish blessing, it's the Abrahamic blessing. We don't like that God, Jewish get blessing. I excited talking about it because I love it. And I started out deep in debt I with nothing. if you believe in anything. Which is another story. Um, but anyway. This guy, I would believe, is evil. Yeah, I mean, everything he, everything he talks about is just... So I think that the gimmick with him is like he and, and other preachers like him, these evangelicals, they preach, uh, I, I forget the, the total name of it, but it's like uh, rich. Like they say, like, if you believe in God, God blesses you with riches, literal monetary wealth. That's his way of showing that it's he loves called, you. Uh, uh, prosperity gospel. Yeah. Pros so, so like they found a way oh, to convince people. That if they gave their money to him, that they would also get rich. So it's almost like a lottery thing. It's almost like a pyramid, God pyramid scheme, you know? Someone just gave me their tithe. Victory, victory, oh, someone victory. just gave me a tithe? How much was so it? You say five dollars. Bro, come on, that ain't a fuck. Were well, you telling me you made only fifty dollars this month? Well, step up your donations, man. Get those tithes in the door. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care <laughs> how time it is. If you if you think money is your source. I'm your source. Get that 10% in any way you can. It's biblical and that, that, that there's a foundation in the Bible for that. I'll close it with this. This one probably I, uh, gets all angry. Oh, I had is. to learn this, like Coming I said, up. from the Bible and from my spiritual mentor, Oral Roberts. And, and I, I learned it from him, working with him, and then we became, he was close friends until he died. And, um, and he took the same heat for believing God would prosper you that I've taken over the years. And um, Abraham was very, very wealthy said man. something. He said, I was raised in a Catholic cult. Please be careful with what you say about Catholicism. It's incredibly damaging, and I've been in therapy for a long time to recover. What does that mean? That, there's a, that I need to do a, a trigger warning or something? Well, because I think you you said something like, isn't the Catholic the ones that do whatever they want? It sounds like it's the complete opposite. Oh, but there's, okay. <laughs> but there's a sect of Christianity that's like super chill about everything, right? And they're there's like, plenty of them. I mean, They don't believe in going yeah, to church Yeah, I guess it's uh, far from, from the there's Catholic, a, though. There's a huge, you know how there's Orthodox Jews and Reformed Jews? Yeah. Like, you can think about it like that, but with many, many, many more subdivisions than Judaism has. But... So it, it really depends. But Catholicism is not the chill one, I, I'm pretty sure. Those Whatever you're not... thinking of, it's not Catholicism. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm kind of confused about... Please be careful with what you say about Catholicism. Huh. Okay. Well, granted, I don't know anything about Catholicism, so... But I'm glad yeah. you're out and going to therapy to undo whatever damage they did. And they gave 50 bucks, so thank you for the tithe. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. Although, if you ask me, you pro I think I still think that you probably made more than 500 bucks this month. But I'll let you pass. <laughs> Dude, 10% a lot. People are going to think you're not joking. Yeah. You're going to watch <laughs> no, what I'm you're just, saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know you're kidding, but people are going to start <laughs> It's just 10% is so much. You know what I mean? Like, it's damn. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. I just want to point out we're getting conflicting prices on the plane, but he does have supposedly three. So what? Three of them? Why the fuck would you need three planes? Yeah. Well, I'm, it's probably the, ch the church organization has three planes. Not that that makes it better, but he right. probably personally doesn't own the plane. But obviously he's stealing he it. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Chill. Galatians chapter three. If you belong. To Christ. All right, shut up. <laughs> Over it. That ended up taking a lot longer than I thought. We should um, do our little ad. Break. All right, we should pay our tithes to our sponsors. Let's do our tithes to our sponsors. What do we got? Today we have, you know it, you love it, honey. Join honey.com slash H3. <clears throat> you know about honey, guys. It's the free online shopping aid that clips, coupons, scours the entire internet for the best coupons and automatically applies them at checkout. <clears throat> Good gang. 
<laughs> honey is basically your online shopping best friend. Here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free and two easy clicks. And then when you're checking out on one of over 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Boom! Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons for that site. If Honey finds the code, it'll apply the best one to your cart. <clears throat> we always save money with it. It's it ridiculous. <clears throat> Ela's a pretty heavy online shopper and yeah. I mean it's pretty safe to say you've saved hundreds, if not th thousands of dollars. Yeah, I'm not. I, w I would say that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. It's free. It's super easy to install. It's like a widely used, widely trusted, reputable. There's. It's like a. No, it's like a win-win situation. You know. Uh, it's found at 17 million members, over two billion dollars in savings. Wow. And uh, Honey supports all kinds of, of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands and even food delivery. It's so simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free and works with whatever browser you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3 so they know that we sent you so that you can support your super new super edition. That's Honey. Thanks, Honey, for supporting this episode. We love Honey. Nice. And finally, <clears throat> we have oh, an old classic, eh? Quip. Quip. An old classic. An old, an old Quip, I've missed you, my friend. So reliable. You know about Quip. Okay, I'm obsessed with oral hygiene. It's a pulsating tube. You click it. Listen to this. Mama Mia. Come on, baby. Like the block. Yeah, the black one's pretty dope. <laughs> Look. Tooth, brushing your teeth is kind of a big deal, you know. If you could go wrong, you can go wrong with brushing. You can use too much pressure. Yeah, I've you done can get, it all. You can I do get, it all wrong. I'm yeah. The worst. Right. Right. Uh, your the bristles can be too hard. You can damage your gums. I mean, it's there's so much. You can not clean enough. People say, you know what I've heard dentists say? There's the death creeps in through the gums. People who okay, don't don't tell me that. People who, well, you have clean gums. I'm just saying, people who don't have good oral hygiene die sooner because all the bacteria in their mouth and shit gets seeps into their fucking body. I That's swear right. to God. Why? You have good teeth. You take good care of your mouth. I try, but it's, it's never enough. I don't have your genes. Well, just because your gums are receding doesn't mean that you're going to die from having a fucked up mouth. <laughs> you know? Your gums look healthy. Okay. Yeah. Quip. This isn't their claim, but I'm claiming. Quip adds years to your life. <laughs> Here's how it works. First of all, it's got the soft bristles that I love. It doesn't hurt the gums. It feels natural and beautiful. Some of the best bristles in the game. You turn it on, it times two minutes, and it pulsates every 30 seconds to let you know when to switch quadrants. So it goes, wink, wink, and you go, oh, time to switch this one. Wink, wink, time to switch this one. Two minutes to make sure you get that perfect dentist-recommended brush. <clears throat> it's way cheaper than the competition, and it's frankly just as good. It's sleek. It's easy to carry around with you. It's got it all, folks. They also deliver brush heads, floss, toothpaste refills every three months from just $5. Shipping is free. You can save time and skip the store. This top pops off. Put on a new one. Bob's your uncle. You're ready to go. If you go to getquip.com slash h3 right now, you'll get your first refill for free. That's your first refill for free at getquip.com slash h3. That's spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash h3. That's Quip. Better oral health made simple. Oh, yeah, and they start at just $25. So, come on. Who are you kidding? <clears throat> Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you very much. All right, we were going to talk about Gavin Newsom now. You know, I've been giving yeah, the um, um, I've been giving the Republicans a lot of shit, so it's right. only fair that Gavin Newsom gets it from me today because yeah, that guy's a fucking idiot. Uh, what, what was he thinking? You know, I I didn't have a strong opinion on Gavin. He seemed to be doing well, and I don't know. What was your opinion on Gavin? Do you have an opinion on Gavin Newsom? Are you asking me or Dan? Dan, <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan, but um, I don't know. Why? What What didn't you like about him before this whole scandal? 
Uh, I mean, he's very much an establishment Democrat in California, which means, you know, he's kind of got a long history of some controversial things. He was the mayor of San Francisco for a long time. Um, and it's a lot progressive of, area, no? It's a progressive area, but, I mean, the social situation in San Francisco, as you're probably aware, is pretty awful, the homelessness situation and everything. And, um, you know, a lot of people lay a lot of the blame for the current state of San Francisco at his leadership, the time that he was uh, in charge there. So, but I don't know. It's all kind of hearsay. I, I don't really have a huge, strong opinion on him. But this shit is fucking... <coughs> well, he won governorship, <laughs> so some people liked him, but... I mean, he was the lieutenant governor to Jerry Brown for many years, so he was sort of coronated. It's I see. That's kind of the way it works in California, so... <clears throat> well, anyway, Gavin Newsom, is, he, you know, has Thanks, been very, Dan. very... <clears throat> for uh forceful with uh covid he called the statewide lockdown he's been issuing a lot of mandates and this and that's about covid and even yesterday he issued a curfew you know we have a month-long curfew in california now i don't watch the news as no. of last night as of mm. last night in california uh what what's the curfew it's uh, 10 p.m you 10, have to oh. 10 p.m to like 5 a.m only yep. essential I mean, travel how is how are people not already doing that? But okay. I mean, so there are rest, anyway. restaurants and well, other I'm not places going anywhere. Open. I don't I don't saying. understand that. Like, what is that aiming to curtail? Like, just bars and restaurants? Cause, yeah. Like, like cause hanging out for pleasure, which you shouldn't really do right now. Because I'm thinking, like, I don't do anything in that time. Because you're being safe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. You if could, you're meeting at ten a at ten p.m., you're meeting to like. Hang out with friends, drink, drink, and then you start to get more loose Lucy about Lucy goosey. It. It's alcohol. Distancing, yeah. Mm. So anyway, there's that new restriction. But literally, like a day before, he was filmed uh, <clears throat> at this huge dinner party, <laughs> not social distancing, and nobody wearing masks, which is like basically what every health official has been saying: don't do, especially with including things. him. Yeah, well, including him. I just saw Especially it. him. I couldn't believe it. And, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up... It was up, late tonight by a woman... This who is the exact the type of female. thing that um, We're, everyone's saying don't do. Yeah. Thanksgiving is going to be such a disaster. I'm sorry to say, but... Yesterday we had 190,000 new cases, 2,000 yeah. deaths, 70,000 hosp current hospitalizations... And there's so many people that just, you know, they want to get together hearing, for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm still hearing from people that, like, their families still doing Thanksgiving. Like, different people that I know. Look, and look, I, it's wild. Thanksgiving is, like, the most uh, cherished American holiday where everybody comes together. And it's coming off, like, the shittiest year ever where everyone's isolated. I know, so but... So I understand I mean, people's desire to do this. They should cherish each other more than a holiday that you'll be able to do next year. I understand people want to do it, but yeah. the thing is that now is the most dangerous time to do it. And I'm afraid that um, come December, when we start seeing spikes, well, it's already it's already out of control, but by the second week of December, shit is going to be so and crazy. I'm hearing more and more people now who know other people that just got it. Like, it's getting <clears throat> like everyone knows someone that has it right now. I can tell you like five different people that just told me they know someone that yeah. just got it. Yeah. So it's becoming like really well, the good everywhere. Thing, the good thing is that the, the vaccine is like right. It's like literally right around the fucking corner. But these last the thing is, like, let's say we get it available. They're, they're going to start by vaccinating old old people and frontline workers, which is, you know, well deserved. And then it's probably not going to be till mid next year where the general public is going to start getting access to it. Mm -hmm. So the good news is that the death rate will fall off significantly with old, with old people being uh, vaccinated. But uh, there's still going to be a shit ton of tragic, unnecessary deaths. And boy, the next few months, I'm just telling you right now, as someone who's been right about COVID from the beginning, so you should listen to me. <laughs> you may not listen to me on other things, but on this one, I'm right. <clears throat> the next three months are going to be catastrophic. Catastrophic. Oh, here a lot of people in the chat have COVID or this person's mom has it. Yeah. She's a hairdresser and she got it from a client. Yeah, you know. Um, 
The, pr the problem, of course, with Thanksgiving's dinner is that you bring in 10, 20, 30 th people into a, into a closed space. And even if everyone's wearing masks, you've got to take it off to eat. you got to sit around a table. One person's infected. They don't know it. I mean, you know, people are walking out of there with COVID who didn't have it before. That's for sure. <sighs> December and January is going to be Horrible. Are you guys going to get the vaccine when it comes out? Most yeah. definitely. Yeah, as soon as it's available, I'll take that shit fucking immediately. Um, immediately. I, I have it and I'm 15. I had COVID. <laughs> Me and my husband have it. Wow. There's uh, a lot of people lot, in the chat yeah. that have COVID. Yeah. That's my crazy. neighbor died from it. His, his what? My neighbor oh, just shit. died from it yesterday, this person said. It's really scary. You really don't want to yeah. play with it. Like, I know it, it really sucks. I'm craving just hanging out with people, just doing, like, regular things. It's so annoying. The I'm thing is... dying I, to go back to normal, but it, it's really scary. Until then, it's not worth it. The problem know? is that <clears throat> our government, our, first of all, Congress has completely and utterly failed, failed us. Uh, they have completely and utterly failed fucking failed us as a society as a nation it's so unforgivable that all There's americans so have gotten is twelve hundred dollars so many messages still this person i have covid19 it sucks i still have um covid um side effects i just read yeah that. that's the thing that i'm scares me is all these side effects and lasting effects people don't know the extent of what this virus does and how my long my seven year old has it <clears throat> oh no yeah that's fucked that's really fucked um <clears throat> congress has totally failed us they've had one stimulus bill months ago and people are our lives are being destroyed people so many people are unemployed so many people are being forced to decide if they need to go work or if they want to be safe, and frankly, yeah, they don't have no, an option because they need money to. Like, yeah, our Congress has totally fucking failed us to the point. It's just, it's just. How it's are people going to stay home if they have to go work to feed their family? They can't. They can't. That's the thing. It's like, sure, you have a two percent chance of dying from COVID, but you have a hundred percent chance of dying if you don't have fucking money to feed your family. Uh, so obviously, don't blame them. But our our society is just. Um, there's no safety net and there's no guidance and there's no there's no leadership so at this point you all you can do is do your best to protect yourself so if you are in the good fortune of being able to stay home work from home not go to thanksgiving all this shit i mean you really just got to worry about yourself at this point because like pff, nobody in our government and our society is really trying to help uh, it's just a nightmare and uh, i'm very afraid of what's going to come in january by january it's going to be crazy. You, I, I, I think it's going to surprise even me. But anyway, just be careful, man. So anyway, back to Gavin Newsom, this fuck. <laughs> this fuckhead. After all that prelude, here he is, you know. Damn, somebody really got his ass good, by the way. <clears throat> somebody was waiting for this fucking picture, you know what I mean? Yeah. What was he thinking? This is insane. What he was thinking is probably... <clears throat> well, to give him the, as much of the benefit of the doubt, he's probably thinking, we all got tested. No. It's all safe. You, you got to know better than that. He's the I governor. Agree. <clears throat> I agree. And as, as the governor, you have to especially acknowledge how dangerous a picture like this is will be. We've been invited by <clears throat> friends that we would really love to see, but we're not going to go. I'm just trying to say what I think he was thinking. I mean, I wouldn't go to this either. You know, the other people at this dinner were also like California Medical Association, <laughs> like heads and stuff. So it's not just him. It's like all of the medical leadership. I, what Very I don't get is like, aren't you actually just worried about COVID on a personal level? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, it's like, forget that you're a governor and that now that there's photos of you doing this, you undermine your authority and your messaging. And now... Do you know how many more people are going to go have Thanksgiving dinner with their family that maybe would have thought about it because of you fucking doing this, you stupid fucking loser? Like, so many people are going to see this photo and be like, F well, the governor's doing it, so I'm going to go have Thanksgiving dinner with my family. You fuck. You fucking stupid fuck. And the problem when you get invited, like, you guys may get invited to something and people will say, oh, it's going to be outdoors, we'll sit outside, 
It'll be oh, he fine. lied about it. By no, the way. what happens is that people just don't stick to it. You see people, so she have a you get drinks. loose, yeah. it gets cold outside, you want to go inside. <clears throat> it's just not going to stick. And at some point, you're going to find yourself inside. He lied to the press. First, he was like, we were outdoors. We were all taking precautions. And then they're like, well, actually, it was indoors. And you had to close the door because you're being fucking loud. Stop! There's no protocol here. This is like just straight up pre-COVID era. Yeah. What a douche. I mean, dude, sorry, but this lapse of judgment is kind of unforgivable. Mm -hmm. It's like, because simply because the act itself is whatever, you know. <clears throat> he said, we all make mistakes and poor judgment, which is like, okay, cool. Yeah, you're right. But you're the fucking governor telling people to stay indoors. Yeah. And your stupid f decision to do this is going to cost people lives. So people are going to see this and say, I'm going to go have Thanksgiving with family with my... You really fucked up, dude. It's, it's just, it's humiliating, bro. Someone is saying, what if they all had the vaccine... Mm. And like, you know what, even if they all know it's safe, Optics, then dude. you can't set this example to other people. <clears throat> it just it doesn't matter how you look at it. If they all had the vaccine, I mean, I don't. Well, if that's true, there's no evidence of it. But yeah, yeah. like you was saying, it's the optics, right? If they all have the vaccine. I'd it. like to know why they got it before. <laughs> yeah. that no, too. They don't have they don't have the vaccine. No. I mean, we have we have no evidence to assume that. Oh, what a fuck. What a fuck. Uh, he blew it. He blew it. He did. He blew it, you know? And I got to give it up to... I mean, <clears throat> Biden's been really good on COVID, man. He's He's been really good. Maybe he's just more scared of it, as he yeah, should be. I'm sure be. he's more scared of yeah. it, yeah. Somebody's saying you got to check my TikTok on Rudy Giuliani that went viral last night. Oh, <laughs> flink it. <laughs> I've got plenty of Rudy content here. Yeah, Don't we're worry talking about, about that. Rudy today. Yeah. AB, can you get us that TikTok? <laughs> Did you hear the, um, since we're talking about the vaccine, on a brighter note, um, the whole news about this Moderna vaccine, how it like is potentially super beneficial even beyond COVID? No. It's like this, this vaccine that they made is a whole new type of vaccine that, huh. um, that they've been trying to make work for years that's going to open up like a ton of is this the 95 percent one yeah it's like one. it's like it's I'll a type it. of vaccine where it, they don't actually inject the virus like you know how oh, it's a nasal spray no no it, i oh. think it's still an injection but it's just that they don't use dead bits of the virus to vaccinate you they use like rna mrna technology to like trick your body into producing antibodies hmm They've been trying to do this for years, and I guess because of the massive rush to find a coronavirus uh, Extra vaccine, funding and stuff. Right. They've actually had, like, a major breakthrough in that. So mm. there's maybe a little bit of good news that I comes want out that of all one, of it. I want that dude. 95%. Yes. That sounds pretty good. I'll take both. Can I take both? And to get hot, I got a lot of... I got hairy legs. Okay, Joe. Well, <laughs> we're talking about COVID right now, Joe. <laughs> This person says, my mom told me that COVID doesn't live in Idaho and she wanted to have Thanksgiving and said, if I wear a mask, she will laugh at me. Yeah. There's a, well, like I'm one sorry. Of the worst <laughs> unfortunately, um, I don't know what this is. Sorry, unfortunately there's a lot of people who think, <laughs> bruh. One of the saddest <laughs> things I heard was a nurse saying that there's people literally dying of COVID, dying on a respirator who are still thinking it's a conspiracy and that it's something else and they don't understand what's killing them that's sad you know uh, this is this is the cost of having you know a president that doesn't live in reality and it's the reason why there's two almost 200,000 cases yesterday and 2,000 deaths so uh, you know I don't know why people are so callous about this. It's it's so odd. It's just so odd. If people were dying in any other way. I'm just like, I find myself dreaming of um, what's going on in Australia, right? Where they're New completely, Zealand. Right? I think, New, they're I think completely Australia's over kinda, it. Oh, there's a lot of countries that are like. Think, yeah, you're the, thinking New Zealand. New Zealand, maybe? I think Australia's yeah. kind of fucked, actually. Okay, so New Zealand. Sorry. I saw uh, DJ Tiesto, I believe his name. He played for a crowd in Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan has like Taiwan. They just had the Ultra Music Festival there. Yeah. <laughs> so they're. 
A lot of the Asian countries have performed a lot better than the West. Well, yeah, because wearing masks is uh, part of the social norm there. Yeah. People wear masks even before COVID. But also just being, like, obedient to something. Like, it has to be part of the culture. Because I'm seeing in Israel, it, it's the same problem as here. People don't listen. And it's yeah. really bad in Israel, too, right now. Well, it's true. I mean, you know, in America, we have this rugged individualism and freedom, freedom and everything, which, you know, is true. But I do think people would be more willing to chip in if there wasn't like there's that aspect, which is going to always be part of American society, which is part of the cool and sometimes bad aspect in this case, bad. And so like you can't discount that. But I think a lot more people would be chipping in if we had clear messaging and good leadership. Mm -hmm. If wearing a mask was portrayed as patriotic instead of being some kind of soy boy beta cuck shit, like yeah. Donald Trump. I, you know, I mean, God bless Joe Rogan, but like even he on his podcast is saying wearing mask is, isn't manly. I think he walked that back. Or He walked it back. Yeah, well, he, you know, once you say it once, the damage is like done. Taken out of context and he was joking or whatever. Well, it's not, it's yeah. really not that, it's like, you know, fucking this alpha male shit is actually getting people killed now, so. Especially when you're saying it when you have a staff doctor testing everybody that comes into 10 feet within you, <laughs> your uh, perimeter, you know? I just, uh, Yeah, it, it's really just the fuck, this whole messaging that it makes you a baby or a sheep or something. It's just fucking crazy. We yeah. want freedom for the world! Yeah. <laughs> Some, somehow they equate wearing a mask to a tyrannical breach of freedom. Which they're still, they're free not to wear a mask, right? Like, that's the irony of it, <laughs> you know? We're just asking nicely so that people don't fucking die. You know, if 2,000 people died in a terrorist attack, we, last time 2,000 people died in a terrorist attack, how many people died in 9-11, Dan? It was like 3,000, right? I believe it was around 3,000. 3,000 people died in a terrorist attack, and we spent like t a tr trillions of dollars killing fucking millions of people in the Middle East. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, this person, I think this is a great attitude. She's saying, I love wearing a mask. It makes me feel less anxious out in public. Right. I, I agree. agree. Yeah, totally. I totally yeah. agree. You get yeah. to cover half of your face. What else do you need? It's a yeah. dream. Yeah. No, you yeah. need to wear makeup. You don't need to worry about right. having some, some shit in your mouth, some teeth. I got a, I got a Joker mask, and like, there's been instances where I scared the shit out of people. Put it on. It's in my car, but oh. have a Joker it's a mask. Yeah, it's like the full like smile, and it's like right under the eyes. And you gotta get it. Go get it. We'll wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I gotta see this. Of course, Zach walks around with a Joker mask. Here, look, only five cases in Australia. Someone. Oh, said. oh, Australia is doing really good. Okay. Five cases in Australia? Holy shit! Oh, you guys made it through the winter too, because it's. He Holy said there. Yeah. Well, they just came out of the winter, and. But, I just because I follow a few people, just like fashion bloggers, and. Sometimes I'll see their stories and there I see this girl like in a party and I'm like, oh my god She's so irresponsible to post that and then I realized she posts the next story She's saying chill everyone. I'm in Australia. We're like back to normal here. Yeah, I'm sorry for everyone else I know and everyone's <laughs> giving her all this yeah, shit. Everyone's giving yeah. her shit. I'm reading the uh, Areas that had corona severely in Australia. They have super strict lockdowns though And I think that's the thing is they just can't do that here people will not stand for it. Rise up! They will not stand Get for your it. guns! They're trying to... They, they go... All, all of a sudden, they go from... They go f to full-on fucking militia. Rise up! Get your guns, boys! And people from... People who aren't even in the lockdown area come down. Like that kid, Kyle Rittinger, or whatever the fuck. Come on, boys! Get your guns! They're locking down a neighborhood in New York! It's civil war! Tyranny is here, boys! <laughs> okay. Come on now, boys. Get your guns. There's yeah, a, you don't have to smell stinky uh, breath from people. This is what people are saying in the chat. There's a lockdown great. in Queens, boys. Get Let's your guns. <laughs> the tyranny is here. 
Anyway. All right. Uh, Gavin Newsom fucked up big time. We hate, we don't like him. Boys, there's a neighborhood going into lockdown in the Bronx. We're going to grab our guns down here in South Carolina and head on up to stop the tyranny. It's like doesn't even involve them. Here comes Zach. Oh, Whoa. Jesus, man. That what the fuck? Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you get a normal mask? <laughs> Oh my God, Looking sick. What are you talking about? Dude? Do you get a lot of looks when you walk around like that? Isn't it embarrassing? Oh no, God. I love the attention. You feel badass. Yeah. You feel people are scared of you. No, there's there's been instances where they're like, "Holy shit, bro! You scared the shit out of me." <laughs> Crazy ass. Zach's always up to something. <laughs> Yeah, I would probably freak if I saw. I probably I might do a double take on you. <laughs> I probably I probably walk an extra large circle around you. You know, twelve feet instead of six. Ugh, fan. So there's more. Okay, so here, Vin Diesel, friend of the show. <laughs> so we found out that Vin Diesel has a Facebook page where he's been. Well. What? Been posting cringe <laughs> memes for years, years. You understand? <laughs> so let me take you a walk through Vin. <laughs> Vin Diesel posted this: one race, <laughs> one love, one world. What? What race is this? I don't know, man. The Pixel Man. Look at this shit. Great what? inspiration. We will find a way, or we will make one. Oh my God. He looks like a. Like he's four feet tall in this. <laughs> Why is he so short? <laughs> what do you think makes the it's Photoshop so cool. for him? I'm, I'm thinking what happens is people just send them to him and he thinks they're all cool and reposts them. <laughs> huh. Why is he so short? <laughs> Look how short he is. Isn't he, isn't he short in real life? But this guy's like four feet, whoever this like, right? Am I crazy? Oh, no, he's six feet. Um, I think Maybe it's an it, angle thing. It's an, it's an ancient Greek warrior. They were shorter back then. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like an obvious Spartacus thing. Uh, Vin Diesel, this was his profile photo at one point. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. I love that. You can kind of tell it's him, though. Kind of. Talk to me, baby. Let me see if I shrink it a lot, Talk if you me, can baby. tell. What the fuck is that? Not really. Doesn't really <laughs> help. I was wondering, you know. Here's Vin oh peeking God. through some paper. What? He's I don't so know beautiful. why this is really weird. He's such an icon. He's Someone so save me. It looks like you're you're in a bathroom in Japan, <laughs> or you're changing in Japan. You know, the t they're like made of paper. Some some walls. You're in a paper. You're in a. You're in the. <laughs> Room changing, and Vin, and you look over and you see this. Vin book activated, password accepted. Thirty-five million family members online. Is that meant to be his hand? Because that perspective yeah, is not so. right. <laughs> Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. I really do love our planet. Cool. Nice quote. <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. I really do love our planet. You should write a book. This is, uh, I really don't know, but there he is. Oh, what the uh, fuck? You got uh, pineapples for? It? One side is like nature. What's going on? Hey, Vin Diesel, what's going on in this photo? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? I think, <laughs> think you're wrong. wrong. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> He's like living on the edge nice, of his... really? Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> yeah, you do look good. He's like living on the edge of society and nature. He's this bird. I think that's the message. Oh. He's the verb, bird, on the edge of everything. But the pineapples don't make any sense. <laughs> those, are, those are out there. I love you. Thank you. You angels can turn hate to love, change poison into medicine, and replace doubt with dreams. Hmm. Mm. Beautiful. Look at his face. The photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You know, he thinks he's a sex icon, but he's kind of an odd looking dude. I mean, he's jacked, so I accept the action, action hero stuff, but. I hope you always have a reason to smile. What is this, a fucking, like, <laughs> poster from your, uh, you know, your, your, your preschool, like, hospital nurse room? <laughs> Thanks, Vim. Here he is on a tiger. What? Face. God. Wow. Wow. Rawr. Is that the weirdest fan club? Wow. How about this? 27 million. Let's go. <laughs> Angels do exist. It's all distorted. Talk to me, baby. Seven pajillion. Oh, he looks like he's jerking off flowers. <laughs> what did this turn into beautiful world? Just the right hype. <laughs> What's the Joe Pesci song? The good, the lady hey, ate out my ass. ass. Treat all the ladies <laughs> like trash. Ate out my ass. <laughs> so many people, and still one reaches for his inner peace. What in the fuck? So many people, and still one reaches for what is that? <laughs> for life. What does it say? It doesn't really make sense. Okay. But he's he's We're slow just searching. not on his level. Finn is not enlightened. I mean, I don't. I could tell you. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like someone who is enlightened doesn't post this stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oops. Jesus. Whoa. He calls it Vin Book. He, oh, he's a fairy this time. <laughs> okay, I gotta read this. Let me zoom in. He says positive. He says positivity is free here. For the taking. Inspiration awaits only to be recognized. And confidence is always encouraged. However, please enter our world with caution. For there are angels abound. And if you are unaccustomed to love and compassion, you may, may be in for a shock. He's making these because he says... He says it's, yeah. <laughs> like, like, there's no way he just said that. He's talking about Vin Book. <laughs> he made this. Did he ever publish a, a book? Joke. The Vin book? Yeah, does he have a book? <laughs> we will ne Oh, fuck, bro. He did a 9-11 shit. Oh, God. <laughs> With Comic Sans. We will never forget. <laughs> Here he is on the phone. Man. I know that um, Ian has been reading the Matthew McConaughey book. It sounds like it's actually good. I've been How was that, reviews. Ian? Yeah. It's... it's it's a good read. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I thought it was just going to be a book of quotes. Yeah. It's autobiographical, yeah. right? Yeah. But he has a lot of stories that I'm like, did this really happen? Right. Like he had a, yeah. like a two-page description of his dad giving CPR to a bird and bringing it back to life that <laughs> drowned in his toilet bowl. And oh, that's it. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him interviewing everywhere when the book came out, and he, he told some of the stories, and I had the same reaction. Like, did that? You really know what's funny happen? is Howard Howard Stern did an interview with him, and he's like, a lot of the stuff in here is like super fucked up, and Matthew's like, no, it's all good, and Howard's like, no, you're really the fact that you don't understand how <laughs> fucked up this is is concerning. <laughs> like he's yeah, he's a, like a he's like a Paul Bunyan character, you know, <laughs> larger than life. Well, let's get some howdies going. It does sound interesting, though. Ela, can you can I turn your attention to this? How could <laughs> drops of water know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on? <laughs> Why is this? He looks so stupid in that drop. He's in a drop, bro. <laughs> Send this to your brother. Water memes. <laughs> How could drops of water know themselves to be in a river? Well, I don't think. I want the Van book. God, that quote. Oh, it's he didn't make the quote. Okay. Just like Venbo. It's so good. <laughs> Believe in your dreams. I don't think you need to attribute that to anybody. It's like pretty generic. It's like, hey. These I, are all things that he posted himself. Yeah, they're from his Facebook page. Oh, that's fucking so he, sick, bro. He, his Facebook page, he, he ran himself and it called it Vinbook. 
Oh. And he was very oh, active on it's it. The Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I right. thought he was like hinting at an actual book Got coming him. out. Vin no, book. no. He referred to his page <laughs> as Vin Book, and he would interact with his fans on there all the time. Wow. And basically, anybody that submitted something, he was just very positive. So he'd he'd share all of it. Wow. I get really strong uh, Jeremy Reiner vibes. Renner. Yeah. Renner. For sure. Jeremy Renner Same was energy. kind of worse though, because he had like a behind the paywall thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Renner book was wild. Was really wild. <laughs> he had the app, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The Renner, Renner he had app. to pay for, it. and he's like a multi-millionaire Hollywood star, and he's charging his fans for like <laughs> headshots. <laughs> Fucking weird. Okay, let's talk about Rudy, because right. like I know you got. I mean, this isn't politics. But I have That's to right. say, this is not politics. This is right. straight up <laughs> stoogery. This is going down in history. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani has been uh, put in charge of Donald Trump's legal battles in the courts to try to overturn the election. Um, I heard somebody from the New York Times describe it as the Republicans need um, Lawrence of Arabia. And what they got is Curly Moe and, and uh, what's the name of the three? Curly Moe and Larry. Larry. That's the joke. What's what? Because La Lawrence of Arabia, Larry. Oh. That's not a joke. Lawrence of Arabia is a great leader, and Kurt, and then the three no, stooges are that's fucking stooges. That's, that's the connection between the two that makes it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't no, it's matter. Not. <laughs> Larry is short for Lawrence. Larry. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was the joke they're making. Do you want to argue Ethan, about it? Ethan, you got to no. move on. It doesn't, move on. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, you know. <laughs> Bruh. Let's get to the bottom of Ethan this. has this thing that it, I think it comes from his family. That yeah, it we'll does. All, uh, someone will say something like a fact, like they know it for sure, no, and then no, everyone no, else no. is like, "You're wrong," and then they they'll argue for hours, googling that and like so annoying. they'll argue for <laughs> hours to figure out who is wrong I'm the, I, and who had it right. I hope I'm the least, but like my brother <laughs> and my dad take it to the and like level. it's little things that don't even matter. No one cares. I did it to my mom recently, but she said something that was like so annoying. She said, "What did you remember what she said?" Uh, and I no. started arguing with her. It happens weekly. No, I don't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> God, what did she say though? I wish I could give you guys an example. Um, what was it? What? What? She goes, "Uh, oh, whatever." Anyway, here's really yeah. Giuliani. So people say apparently hairdressers are saying it's not hair dye, which makes sense to me because why would? Hair dye, ble I mean, you wash it out. You don't but, bleed it. Um, it could be what you said, actually. It could be like a spray that kind of adds color. I it's think like that's, temporary solutions. It's super ghetto. <laughs> that means like the morning of, he put did some dark spray to make fill in his balding. <laughs> so here, regardless, of, here's what happened. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona. So right. he, he's trying to talk about how there's an, an election fraud. It was stolen. I mean, really serious shit, right? And then meanwhile, questions? he's yeah, literally okay. melting yeah, on camera. This sort of reminds us, 30 years ago, uh, they had federal judges doing consent decrees over elections. So you had a federal judge overseeing <laughs> uh, the election. Moves, you, know, you, you missed it. You missed it. Oh, you he doesn't know it's there. <laughs> He knows Bruh. he's dripping. Dude, look at you. I, I can't say what's going to be and done in about... Count, we have sort of a, uh, oh, he has drips on his dome, too. Yeah. In what count? Yes. Yeah. He just got back from the jerk-off booth across mm -hmm. from uh, Four Seasons Total Landscape. I'm, what's that? What's that? It said he just got back from the jerk-off booth across <laughs> from uh, Four <laughs> Seasons Total Landscape. Excellent. <laughs> I, I, I know about it. I, I really can't give you an opinion on that. Uh, I think... Obviously, every election official should learn something from this and be very, very careful with the, with the next election. I know this is a lot of information. That yeah. Why are you melting? He's obviously a very serious individual. Someone else, I saw a TikTok where he like blows his nose and then wipes it all over his face. Yeah, it's the next link. Oh, good. Is that the one that... Yeah, that's, that's this, actually this the one you... someone submitted. Oh, that's the person Oh, really? That. I saw that. I saw My that. My goodness, this is how you win cases in a courtroom. <laughs> Why isn't someone asking oh, about it? Oh, there we go. He just wiped it. Put it in his mouth. 
Don't go from. Bruh. <laughs> well, if you thought that was gross. I mean, he's literally the most vile. He is the most vile. Uh, and he's just such a fuck up. This is the man who's in charge yeah. of the most, you know. He's sweating so much. He's so wet. So. It's just a shame that these people are in a position of power because they're actually funny. Like, I just want to enjoy the humor. I mean, this guy couldn't... He yeah, couldn't he fucking... Guy is care. <laughs> I don't think this guy could win a court case to <laughs> save his life, man. <laughs> <laughs> his hair guy is dripping by down his... 75. Why are you melting? Why do you know how close this, this is serious stuff, you know? <laughs> this is just one week after he held a press conference at Four Seasons Total Landscaping. I mean, the guy is straight out Just a few weeks after he got caught by Borat. That and was all, like, this oh. month, dude. He's and had, also like... wearing, like, uh, Pinocchio shoes. <laughs> just happened. <laughs> he... Bruh. He like this guy should be. <laughs> yeah, I mean every week with this guy is something that I've never ever seen before in my life. Here we go. I think this is the one I was describing. Yo, I can't believe this. Check it out. So let's ignore the fact. How do I? F okay, here we go. Figure that nobody's wearing masks because you know that shit's imaginary. <laughs> yo, yo, watch my man's over here. <laughs> yo, takes out the handkerchief, blowing his nose, takes it booger side <laughs> in, smears his hands all over it, in his mouth, wipes it into his lips, all over his face, in his eyes. So he's wiping snot all over his face, <laughs> smearing his hands into it. Oh, what a fucking... Looks like shit, but bro. But also, we're and talking about COVID, right? touch <laughs> yeah. the podium. Yeah. Yo, oh. I can't believe... He is so vile and such a fuck-up. I like that he then, like, folds it nicely, kind of, and puts it back. Like, yeah. He oh, thinks he's being very respectful, polite. Very yeah. Right. I mean, this is Donald <laughs> Trump's personal attorney. <laughs> Why does he not have better representation? Like, you know, Giuliani used to be a respectable guy. He used to be the mayor of fucking New York City. <sighs> Life is strange, man. Yeah, you remember okay. this, Sheila? Zorg, uh, Zorg from Fifth Element. <laughs> oh, and here he quotes my cousin Vinny, which was... You like, guys, like, you were looking at this New York so Times article, and I just thought it was so f surreal. The title was like, why is Julie, Rudy Giuliani melting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, people... serious article, and they're talking about how he's melting. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's got to put this guy out of his misery. Somebody's got to let this guy just... Before you say that, I actually have some breaking news. Apparently, his son, who was at that press conference, was just announced to have COVID. Oh, I, no, I read that this morning, I think, oh. yeah. Well, so, so I mean, everyone maybe in he's this... sick. Maybe that's why it looks like sh fucking shit. Might be. He doesn't look healthy, so... No, not at all. I don't know that's if COVID sweating. is a symptom of, like, sweating shit out of your pores. Maybe you have a fever. Well, I don't know about the, <laughs> the, the drip. But. but his son apparently works <laughs> with him and Trump and all that. So, yeah, I mean, there's a good chance he's he's going to he's gonna get COVID. I mean, I don't know how he's not going to get COVID up there doing what he's doing. Far away, probably the closest they got is from here. Dude, Chris, Christie's fat ass was in a... Was in a <laughs> He was in an ER for like two weeks. They're friends with him, and they still don't care. <laughs> like their their close confidant and friend was in yeah. ER for two fucking weeks. And I saw that he um, he said that he was really keeping it safe for the longest time, and then he kind of got loose and went to that one event, and then he got it. Who, Chris Christie? Yeah. Yeah, I would be scared to get it if I was Chris Christie. That guy's not. That guy's foop, that guy's foopish Maximus, bro. Here, to the back of that room, we could do like a. Um, did you all watch my cousin Vinny? 
Do you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, war movies because he comes from Brooklyn. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many f fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. That's well, she passion. was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny was from the witness. They couldn't see a thing. Okay. We're going to quote movies. Okay, better, better overturn the election. <laughs> Stop! Recount. Stop the vote. Keep the vote. <sighs> I mean, look, I try not to talk yeah. about it. This stuff's really been bothering me. Yeah, I'm just trying not to, to let Joe it Pesci. eat out my ass. Treat all the girls <laughs> like trash. I just feel like everything. Kitchen bitches at a kitchen. <laughs> there you go. It's the bitches that will get you. <laughs> it's just not normal, you guys. What we're, what's happening? It's just so far from normal. It's not normal. It's just not okay. Like it's just so fucking odd. It's not normal. <laughs> Guys! It's not normal for a president to tweet out uh, conspiracy stuff? QAnon? I won the election twice. Once in all caps, once in it's all small. <laughs> within eight hours of each other. It's not normal. Anyway, let's get over that. Okay, we, we wanted to watch this and get a feeler. Apparently this is a... Uh, I don't know if this is a big deal or what, but... Um, Dan, Dan wanted to watch this. It's the trailer for the new Justice League made by Zack Schneider. Now, Zack Schneider always makes movies that look good but are always really bad. Well, well, he made 300. Fans, he made 300, which everybody loves. And he made uh, Watchmen, which I think half of people love. But he made a lot... And the, that we just watched? No, no, no. No, the not the, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you guys to kind of tell me... Is President, just have a song. Uh, this is, it's not worth getting claimed for this shit. Here, I'll just mute it. Love hurts. Love hurts. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's not that. It's uh, Hallelujah, which I was like, oh, it's a Shrek song. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> The song that is playing the whole time is just hallelujah, uh -huh. hallelujah. And I was like, oh, it's Shrek. <laughs> For, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Shrek soundtrack song. For some reason, every Shrek soundtrack song is a, just a Shrek song forever. Like Smash Mouth is Shrek. Shrek Mouth. Somebody once swamped me an onion and a mushroom. Well, anyway. Um, David came said. Uh, he thinks it's going to suck. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, I'm wait. just baffled why it's black and white. It's like, <laughs> should try hard. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to Yeah, if it. you could hear the music. Here, I'll so, play the music for a second. This isn't just another movie. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's is the movie actually black and white? No. no. Stop! It's just a and the, yeah. <coughs> I think it's gonna suck. All these superheroes, whenever they get together, it's this like trailer uh, alone tells me this is gonna suck. I feel bad for Ben Affleck because I really like oh, him. Ben Affleck is here as Batman. Our best friend. Well, this isn't even yeah. like a new movie. This, and this is the one out? that came out a couple years ago. Yeah, but this is like the, the saying new lag. updated. What are, what are people complaining about? Oh, is that internet cutting out. Is anybody paying attention? Everyone's saying F. F. Huh. I mean, what's happening? Are they just saying F for the trailer? Uh, no, it does no. have an air. It there lagged was, for a second. I guess it lagged yeah. for a second. I think we're back. It's back. I think the internet might have just dropped out for a moment. Yeah, I think it just went out for a second. Uh, okay. We're back. Anyway, that. Back. Mm. So, what? This is not a new movie? No, this is the one that came out movie. a couple years ago. Wait, what? So, why are we yeah. talking about it now? Yeah, because what? 
Well, you don't know what the... the Why am I watching this? It's being re-released. It's being re-released. Zack Snyder didn't originally make this movie. Oh. So what is the Schneider cut? Okay, so he was making this movie, and then he had a personal tragedy and dropped out, and Joss Whedon took over and made the Justice League movie. It came out, it made a lot of money, but pretty much universally everybody wait, thinks it's I never terrible. watched that. Yeah, I skipped that shit. Yeah, it's it's a bad movie. Mm. 6.3, damn, that's for, brutal. And then for years, fans of Zack Snyder have petitioned Warner uh. Brothers to let him finish his original version of the movie. That's mm. what this is. But they already filmed okay. it, so what does that mean? He's just going to make just, some cuts here and there? Yeah, it's I like mean, a special edition of the movie. I think they okay. shot some new things, but not much. It's mostly just... And then they redid the CG and a bunch of shit. Nice thing. But make. there's like a massive amount of hype I building up to this. Uh, I and uh, and right. I think it's going to suck just as bad as the first one. So well, how much, how, well, me, how much can you polish a turd? Right. Right. Mission bed and be put some 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 uh, Shrek music over that, and you got yourself a uh, uh, rodeo. <laughs> Shoe Nice is in the chat and he's typing Trump and he's typing Ethan is a loser. Oh, he is awesome. He's typing hey, Shoe. What's up, Shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get him to call in? I'm sorry, I put him in timeout at the same oh, time. Man. Oh, man. Here back. we go. Should we have him call in? Yeah, tell him not to no. kill me. Dan's saying no. I kind of yeah, want to check I'm, in on I'm Shoe real quick. That. Let's just check in on him. Shoe, message uh, uh, Zach. If you want to call in, I may, you know, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing a lot of airtime. I just want to see how you are. I don't know if he, is he in the discord? I mean, he's messaging uh, and he's a member. I think we banned him I, from the discord. We banned time. him from discord. Why? Because he was, <laughs> he was harassing people. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, come on, man. Get your shit together. I could be bro. wrong about that. I, I mean, I didn't personally ban him, but I, I want to say somebody. Well, did somebody him. ban Shu from discord? That happened at one point. I didn't ban him. I think we yeah. may need like a separate Ooh. way to get. Um, we need the shoe line. Yeah, we need like a separate. Well, for way Skip, to get people that. like Skippy and yeah. Shoe and stuff, and yeah. people we want. Yeah, we need a VIP number. Yeah. Shoe, can you message um, Zach, please? I want to talk to you. Go beach. If you want. Just a oh, heads he up. Won't. According to one of his more recent videos, he's really not happy with you guys <laughs> again. Mm -hmm. Well, when is he oh, ever happy with us? Right. Yeah. Where is that? Really, uh, Should I open it? Yeah, I mean, he's been drinking, which I'm not happy about, but I'm not his mom. I'm not his fucking caretaker, you know? What can I do? You know? But I do want to check in on him. Sh let's see. I don't hey, see everyone. I don't see anything about me here. Shoe nice 22. I think it got deleted. Yeah, yeah. That's a that sounds like shoe. Okay, this is because I don't wipe my ass, bro. This is the best. This is the best. This is confirmed real. This is not a joke. Oh. This is one hundred billion percent real. <laughs> the Pope likes this image <laughs> on on Instagram. This is confirmed. This is one billion percent real. The Pope. <laughs> El, peep, El Pepo. El Pepe. He liked this fucking post on Instagram. Straight up. Nice. <laughs> Straight the fuck up. <coughs> so, there's been great stories like this before, like Ted Cruz, like in <laughs> Stepmom Porn on Twitter and stuff. But this is the Pope! <laughs> Amazing. The Pope. I'm going to be friends with the Pope, man. You want to be? Yeah. He's got good taste, don't <laughs> Zach? Yeah. You guys have a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. Me and the Pope. Uh, who knew the Pope is an ass man? <laughs> Clearly. Oh, this is her. I guess it's kind of nice in a way. He's just a guy. He's just a guy. He likes ass like everyone else. You want to look at the positive side somehow? Hey, if God didn't want him liking that photo, he wouldn't have made that girl's ass right. so fat. Right. <laughs> right? Uh, she made a comment about it. Mm. She's noticed the po I'm trying to find it. The explanation. 
Oh, she said, my mom hates my ass pics, but the Pope be double tapping. <laughs> the holy ass, man. <laughs> She's so funny about it. She, she says. She found her calling in life. Uh, <laughs> oh, I saw her just explaining the story. I don't know where it is, but she was saying, like, she just noticed all of a sudden that the Pope liked her photo. Mm -hmm. And she went and clicked it. And it was the real Pope. Yeah. And then she she put it out there. Pope France ass. Oh, oh. It's from the chat. France ass. Yeah. So the Vatican has launched an investigation <laughs> into the origin of this like. A full blown investigation. Love it. Pope liking suggestive photo of Brazilian model. Mm. They're gonna they're gonna Bruh. put someone as a Backup story and blame him. Yeah, they're gonna they, they're gonna throw some intern yeah. under the bus, like Ted Cruz did. But you know it was Ted Cruz. Yeah. The question is, let's go to Pope Francis. Isn't did Pope Francis like the ass, or was it a fucking what? <laughs> you know, I wonder who runs the Pope's account. If it's just some like uh, fucking you know intern they found on someone who forgot to switch accounts and yeah, just liked it. like it's just like, uh, <laughs> it's just some normal dude who you know what I mean. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it's equally as embarrassing. I feel like it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I think I can rule the Pope out. At first, I was like, God, I hope it was actually the Pope. But he definitely has nothing to do with this account. <laughs> you know, it's just weird photos of him being like, Come on. Oh, you're kidding, huh? I am the Pope. You come, you come onto my insta, you come onto my Instagram account, and you like big Brazilian ass. <laughs> when, when did I deserve this disrespect? But you know, even the people who manage his account Stop! are probably really. I'm assuming it's not just like a young intern, is it? Dude, whoever did that has got to be scared because the Vatican <laughs> don't fuck around. And when they find you, get out! They'll make sure you go to hell. They'd be like, "Yo, God." This thing, she's, this guy's she's been blessed, like literally blessed. Yeah, I wonder if she got. A, I wonder she if she probably got so many followers. Dude, getting a pope like, yeah, yeah. getting the pope to like your ass photo on Instagram is like, ha, ha. <laughs> like play that church music, you know, like Gregorian chants. Could you have anything like that, Zach? Yeah, let me pull it up. Pull that up. I mean, we say Papa bless, but when Popey yeah. Pope -a -bless. blesses you, oh, this is it when you likes your ass. Oh, 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 oh. Angel gets its wings. A new girl got her fat ass wings. A new influencer. A, is born. a dude. A uh, when the Pope likes a fat ass, the a f <laughs> fart fetish just smells of fat. Nice fart from a big fat ass. Where's that Gregorian chat, Zach? It seems to be uh, read out in my database. Greek. Do we have her account? Oh, oh, let me get a picture of her ass. Can we go to her account? Yeah, I've got it here. You got it right here. <laughs> this is what the Pope does when he jerks off when he comes. He probably has a live music. Someone is. Yeah, he's got a whole choir in yeah. the Pope's ah, chambers. I mean, maybe there's a wall so they don't have to see the action <laughs> taking place. Ha 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 Go say the curse sentence. By the blood of the lamb, God. It won't let me click. By the blood of the lamb, by the blood of the lamb, God. This is the holy ass, though. This is the photo. I mean, we. She's a lot now. I don't know if she was big before. She has 2.5 million. We got to do a stained glass window of her in the fucking. In the Vatican, because this is the blessed ass. There's no ass like this in the world. By the blood of the ass, by the poop of the ass. 
<laughs> this is amazing. Can we actually get a stained glass window? We got. I want to do that. I want again. that. Yeah, yeah, we have to look into making a stained glass window of this. This is the blessed ass. I think we need to give reverence to this momentous occasion. All things are possible with God. You know, they say that the Pope's actions are ordained by God, that everything he does is ordained by God. That means that God fucking wants to hit that ass. That's right. And what are we going to do? He did it through the hand of the Pope. Yeah, exactly. He liked the Pope, Pope was like, Jesus is your source. God is leading my hand, <laughs> oh Lord. Double tap that ass. <laughs> by the blood of the lamb, by the poop of the ass. <laughs> Dan, write that down. I want to get that in stained glass. If if they're not going to honor her, I will. Have it on the set or something? Yeah, we'll put it on our set. Our set. Yeah. Can I get a copy of that? No, but you get to you get to see it when you come to work. Yeah, you mean you get the photo. The photo is there, man. Anytime you want it. <laughs> Anybody out in the audience, if you got if you got a you got a stained glass guy, send him yeah, my way. Yeah. We'll find one. A B look into that, your research. Alright. You find us a stained glass. Find that stained glass. Photo. <clears throat> Is the ass halal now? <laughs> anyway. And now the Vatican's going. They're trying to approach the church or the Instagram. Vatican wants Instagram to explain why the Pope's account liked the photo of the Brazilian model. What? Like, okay, dude. What is that chances explain? are the dude who's logged in as the Pope liked it. <laughs> it's not Instagram's fault. Again, it's like, oh, what happened to God? God's plan for everything. God obviously wanted you to like the photo. Like, there's no accidents. You guys deal in God. God is infallible. All of a sudden, with COVID and with Joe Biden winning and with liking this Brazilian model's aspect, all of a sudden, God doesn't know what he's doing anymore. Instagram made an error. No, God fucking made this happen, bro. Their whole, their whole, the whole consistent, it doesn't, it's not consistent. You know what I mean? Everything is happening as it is. So where's the acceptance? There's no acceptance. The Pope Jesus liked her ass. I feel like I'm making a lot of sense. Um, you are. You're really <laughs> making a lot of sense. I hear you a lot. I, I agree with you. Right? Like, where's yeah. the consistency? Just fucking own the ass shot. I'm going to eat your sandwich. We're deep in the show <laughs> now. But I mean, he's a, he's a human being. I mean, humans got to do Can what I get an olive? Do. That one fell on the floor. Oh, there's no olive. You think the Pope uh -huh. uh, is a virgin? No way, man. No <laughs> way. He's Theoretically, he is. I ain't probably fucked. People are asking why you're not talking about Trisha. Do you want to Oh, Trisha? Yeah, I mean, we'll talk about it on Monday. It. Yeah, he's just going to save it to frenemies. I mean, it makes more Trisha's sense. Trisha's in a world of shit. <laughs> She's part what the of fuck? the drama. She's like drama getting ground zero. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll talk Keep about it on Monday. Fatty. I don't want to talk about it a lot Keep today. Keep eating fatty. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you're fat. Thanks. I'm just trying to... I'm hungry. I've been going for a while. You're fat, fat, fatty. It's just one bite of bread. I don't see what's the big deal. I really need Rude. to um, go pee pee. You have a, probably a bunch of donations we could read off real quick. Oh, AB. Yep. Okay, we have we have Dodo's Bizarre Adventures for five dollars. I bought an Ethan ass candle. Can't wait to destroy my Hell respiratory yeah. system Thank and you. make COVID jealous. Just Hell fucking yeah. up, man. You're, you're doing good work out there. Uh, Keegan for $10 says, hey, I want to thank you guys for supporting mental health. I was just diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and I'm now seeking treatment. Thank to you all. Thanks to you all. That's a tough one, but wow. with treatment, treatment's yeah. really good. I'm glad you're getting help for that. We have someone who goes by Merchant for $100 said, just wanted to show some support. Stay Golden H3 Podcast. Mm. 100 buckaroonies. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Um... Brady, uh, Brady said, everyone wants to mention Ela's hair, but let's appreciate Ethan's luscious flowing hair. Okay. Thank that you for, acknowledge back Thank so you for acknowledging fast. me. You know, I'm ready for a haircut again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a month ago. Is, is the most surprising part because they all warned that that was going to take forever. But Yeah, I was expecting it to take a long time. And, you know, I, I shaved them again like a week or two later right. for another look. And I don't have to say I've got freakish... My to my toenails grow freakishly long too. I feel like, so I'm a freak. 
Should yeah, we someone, start? Someone top comment. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I was going to say that. Um, another comment said, Ila from Duan. D D Duan? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry. Ila, I love your hair. You always look like a goddess and your hair is bomb. Ethan, you're also good and look like a goddess. That's a goddess? I, <laughs> I look like a goddess. I'm really happy that I'm finally trying stuff with my hair. You've never dyed your hair before, right? No. It's fun. Oh, play the Gregarian chant. <laughs> oh, um, da, 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 by the blood of the Lamb God. Thank you. Can I get a Pope like? Can the Pope like you? By the blood of the place? Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb God. By the blood of the Lamb. I love that Gregarian chant, eh? Victory, 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 Makes victory, victory. <laughs> Why do all these people love Trump, by the way? He's, like, the most unpious person in the world. Like, Joe Biden is actually a good Christian dude. Like, he goes to services every weekend, and he's, like, actually a religious, uh, like, pious matters. person. He's just... He... But Trump is, like, literally not... He's, like, so unpious. He so doesn't... Okay, whatever. Let's talk about the small PP energy. This is This is a good one. That's better. So there was a lot of people very upset about the fact that Harry Styles wore a dress on Is Vogue. It? Yeah, it was like a huge fucking issue on Twitter with all the, you know, the usual suspects like Ben Shapiro go, Mas and Candace Owen. Who cares about what Ben Shapiro thinks about fashion? The guy... Well, here, let me, let me show you. So this was the photo shoot of Harry Styles. It's a war dress and a Vogue photo shoot. He's been doing it for a minute. It's kind of cool. It's been... Yeah, he's been doing some, like, like, gender... That. It's not yeah. even gender bending, really. It's just more like... It's cool. Just playing around with fashion, right? Yeah. Also, it's high fashion. He's, he's working with, like, the creative director of Gucci. And yeah. It's, this is not for Ben Shapiro. <laughs> 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 That's well said, for sure. Well, they go... They, go, they say Wet it's not... Wet-ass P-word. Let, let me show you. So, anyway, this is the photo shoot. Yeah, these are good looks. I mean... This isn't really feminine at all. It's pretty badass. This giant the giant uh, chain? chain, yeah, Looks it's like epic. What the fuck? <laughs> that giant chain is pretty next level. I mean, so that's it. He's so, actually yeah. really working this stuff. Like he's still, I don't know. I mean, it looks cool on him. This look, I'm not it's a fan of a too much, but yeah. but like this look, I, I mean, just on a personal level, just as a, a fashion uh, fashionista. It's funny me commenting, but you know, but like, but um, but I like these looks a lot. I like this look a lot. But anyway, I appreciate it. So, these are trend setters. Sure. So anyway, this whole photo shoot set off a a, a uh, avalanche of conservative uh, outrage. Starting with Candace Owen, she says, There is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children East is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring she, back manly men. She's living in like the Game of Thrones life. <laughs> so the East and the West. <laughs> so and I, ha the I have I have coming. Or here, let me just continue. So, so Ben Shapiro picks this up, who's obviously known for being the most masculine man at 5'4", <laughs> you know, high-pitched voice. There's, there's been... F extra large and extra hard. Ben Shapiro, <laughs> short. He said, in his bio, he says he's like 5'10 uh, or something, but he's clearly like 5'4". Not that I'm making fun of his... I don't height. even care about his height. But I'm just Let's saying, just like, for a looks guy looks like to talk the about... Day to day. Can we get, like, a... Can you picture? look at this, though? <laughs> oh, it's a Photoshop. Damn, they got <laughs> me good. But he's, not the idea, he's not the idea of masculinity. I mean, it's a guy, a guy who was... Talking. Anyway, he says, this is perfectly... In response to Candace Owen. This is perfectly obvious. Anyone who pretends that this is not a referendum on masculinity for men to don floofy dresses is treating you like a fallen idiot. A referendum, one photo shoot, is the whole establishment saying, 
that men need to fucking put on skirts? I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Talking about? Masculinity and femininity exist. Outward indicators of masculinity and femininity exist in nearly every human culture. Boys are taught to be more masculine in virtually every human culture because the role of men is not always the same as the role of women. The left knows this, of course. The point of Styles doing this photo shoot is to feminize masculinity. Otherwise, why would it be headline worthy for Styles to don a dress? The left knows this. Mm -hmm. They openly say that gender is both important and socially constructed, which is why they tell you that a man can be a woman, e.g. despite no biological... I mean, the guy is so... So here's my take on this. Oh, he made a whole video about this? Jesus, man. Fucking milk it. And not only that, is female I'm genitalia into the whole dress conversation, outward indicators of masculinity and femininity exist in nearly every human culture. Right? We train little boys to be masculine and we train little girls to be more feminine. <laughs> read out of them the toxicity of masculinity or the toxicity of femininity. We try to use civilization to civilize children. But boys are boys and girls are girls. Right? And these are important. Shut up. Stop. God, what a way to kill the vibe, this guy. Yeah, that guy I ruins every part. Cannot listen to him talk about anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, art, you dumb dumb. Who me... cares about what you think? Go wear your bland T-shirt and go on with your life. No one cares. I'll just keep showing the um, the, the reactions before I give you my take. He said, there's so much joy to be had in playing with clothes. Oh, yeah. I've never thought too much about what it means. It just becomes this extended part of creating something. That's a very fucking fair statement. You know what I mean? Like, he's just having fun with clothing. Yeah. This person says, is this somebody? She says, what is wrong with you people? Absolutely insane and demonic. <laughs> What's more insane? A dude having fun with clothes or demonic? you caring that much about it? Pretty sure you saying it's demonic is kind of like mental. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? <laughs> when children draw do? their sticks like figures in school, they put the dress on a female. Who do... Who do the put the dress on now? And who represents who's female and male? Imagine the confusion. That one's nobody, but I just, I saw that comment. It really cracked me up. God, he's not even the first guy to put on a fucking dress. Like, yeah. why is everyone losing their shit over this? This is, you know, pop stars gender bending has been a thing for a long time. I mean, exactly. even going back to David Bowie. And but yes, even exactly. like, yeah. it's kind of been a thing this year. It's not like he's... That groundbreaking with this um, Post Malone's been wearing like dresses and skirts right. lately. It's it's just fun. <laughs> Who cares about? I don't what? know why he's getting the ire of the concert. But here's my take. <laughs> Candace Owen says there's no society that can survive without strong men. The East, this is an no. attack. Bring back manly men. Okay. First of all, you can be whatever the fuck kind of man you want. This doesn't. This is nothing to do with his masculinity. He still looks very masculine to me. <laughs> and the I fact believe. that like there's no such thing as manly men. I mean, look at the people who are the most popular in, in pop culture right now. You have people like Joe Rogan who are so fucking alpha male that his balls probably drag on the fucking floor when he walks. I mean, the dude literally injects testosterone into his neck every morning. Like, there's no lack of manly men. There's a whole diversity of men. You could be whatever the fuck you want. You know, I don't know why everyone has to conform to your idea of masculinity, you dumb fucking weirdo. What does even Marxism mean, you freak? Fuck you. That's, I'm caught up on the East knows this. It, I've got to assume she means China. That's because that's usually when the right, conservatives that, are upset. They're referring to China. The East knows this. Right. But I think, well, what they mean is the general, like, uh, China, Japan, Southeast Asia kind of thing. Yeah, but then she goes but on to say... what do they know? What do they know that we don't know? Right. And, but, and then she goes on to say that it's not a coincidence that this is being taught to us at the same time as Marxism. China is a communist country. Yeah, what do they know? Yeah, what, like, get your is, messaging is, straight. It's, By the way... J have you seen Japan high fat? The, the Japanese are like the most stylish fucks ever. Look how they dress. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the the Japanese people, their idea of like um, gender, anything, gender anything. norms, like they are <laughs> way in the future. Candace Owen does not know what the fuck she's talking about. Like, sorry, amazing, you're just you're so ignorant. Um, Japanese fashion. There, I saw a blog. Uh, 
<laughs> I can't wait to someday it's go to Japan. Such fucking drivel. It's just such nonsense. They're just they're so stupid. So, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's honestly so angry. just sad. Like they're so angry and just like they don't. Even... This is just a fun little thing. Like, what do you guys care about it so much? I think it's cool. I think it's very rock and roll. It is. Yeah, me yeah. too. I think putting on a skirt is is rock and roll. It really I is. I mean, all the way back to fucking Elton John, David to Bowie. David Bowie, you know. Depeche Mode. Yeah. I mean, they, in the 80s. Like so every, stupid. Every hair metal band. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they wore makeup. I mean, they wore actual makeup. You know what it is? The statement is like, I'm so comfortable in my masculinity I'm exactly. so confident like that I'm, I that this doesn't yeah. make me feel insecure. I'm so confident in my own skin <laughs> yeah. that I can explore anything. It's just like it's really inspiring if yeah. anything. That it's like uh, you, you there's no manly men. You Bullshit. dumb. What's next? We're going to talk about feminine women. Yeah, they do. I mean, yeah, they love talking about that. Okay. They want conformity. They want conformity, and they want everyone to think and feel and act the same way, which is funny because they, they, there's no consistent messaging. It's all just anger mm -hmm. and fear. Where's the love? And it's grifting, too, frankly. They're all grifters because they all survive. Ugh, they all make a living from peddling this fucking fear, so they all overreacting to every fucking thing to try to get clicks. Such grifters. Yeah, I just find it odd that now's the time that they that they went after Harry Styles, you know. Anyway, yeah. Very odd. And of course Ben Shapiro is such an obnoxious fucking god. It's just so obnoxious. It's just it's not a referendum on masculinity. Is it challenging the idea of masculinity? I mean, what's wrong with that? If ben, if Joe Rogan put on a dress, would you be happy if you wanted to? I don't give a fuck if Joe Rogan puts Joe on a dress. I'm just saying that the notion that masculinity is under attack is blatant bullshit. When Joe Ro when B Joe Rogan's the most popular, like you know, al alpha male kind of shit is like super popular right now. This whole like alpha male thing. I mean, Joe Rogan lives on elk meat. Do you understand? Like he's over that kind of masculinity to me is kind of cringy. It's like so over or over that to me reeks insecurity to me. But everybody could be whatever kind of masculine man they want, whatever masculine means to you. I think it's quite masculine the way that he's able to wear a dress and be confident, you know? And trust me, there are plenty of women who would uh, reach under that dress this guy says, one thing that annoys me is that girls can wear boys' clothes, but boys can't wear girls' clothes. Even just the color pink, I get called gay. Right. And, you know, that is so stupid. Yeah, I agree Whenever with you. Whenever I show my mom, like, our Teddy Fresh designs, you know, it's really colorful for guys. And she's always like, and guys really wear that? And yes. I'm like, yes, mom. Yes. Yeah, and so... It's just I, the color. I agree. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know, women can wear jeans and t-shirts and that's just another one of the kind of double standards. Like, I don't see Candace Owen and Ben Shapiro making all these high. Uh, but yeah, you're right. You should be able to wear what the fuck you want, dude. Anyone want to disagree? Anyone want to call in, debate me on this? Any mass manly men in the... Alpha males who think this is a referendum on masculinity. Is there anybody in the audience who injects testosterone into their f chode that would like to call in? <laughs> this uh, person is saying, I think shaming men for wearing feminine clothing is an attack on masculinity. Good point. That's a great point. Let's get right. some calls going, Zach. I want to get some people to comment on this. That's a really good point. Yeah, you know, it's like men have enough pressure to conform. Conformity is is usually almost always 
I'm trying to wonder, is conformity almost always bad? I don't know, but I don't know what that means. But conformity is like the antithesis of American I, I, uh, individualism. Back in the day, women couldn't wear trousers. That's right. Let me see. He was wearing trousers right now. What the fuck? I don't feel comfortable in dresses at all. It's like I hate dresses. Hate it. It's a nightmare for me. Zach, we have people calling in? Uh, no one wants to call in. Nobody <laughs> wants to call in? What the fuck what kind of show are we doing here? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You don't have to disagree, I guess. Well, yeah, for people that want to Nobody, not, not one soul. Okay, AI Ian, do you disagree? AI yeah, Ian isn't here. Yeah. <laughs> what about regular Ian? Still AI regular Ian for left. you? I, I you think International Men's Day kind of upset him. and Because he, oh. he's not a real human, you know? Oh, oh, the Men's Day got to him, huh? Yeah. He's, so, he's disappeared. I don't know where he went. It was a little bit triggering. Ian, yeah. is that a... Uh, is that a um, hammock for your cat that I see in the background? Yeah, he's posted up. Well, can we see it? What is he it? loves what? it. What is How that? How does it work? Yeah. You, it, you suction cup it to the window, and oh. then he, he loves it. He gets his little view out, out there. You don't so. open the window, do you? No, no. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> <I was laughs> Not like, this uh, one. <laughs> man, I don't have cats, so I don't know. But I was like, Ugh. Yeah. Talk about the baby out the window. <laughs> The baby with the bath water. <laughs> the other one does sometimes if I open him too much, he puts his whole body weight against the screen and I panic. Yeah, that's you know? scary. <sighs> well, speaking of International Men's Day, I'm waiting for a call. But, you know, the quartering, we did a whole thing on the quartering. He, he in our content court, declared International Men's Day dumb. But then all of a sudden... When International Men's Day came around, he got really defensive. <laughs> mm. He said, Pride, really? Pride Month is dumb, Black History Month is dumb, International Women's Day is dumb, International Men's Day is dumb. And we made fun of him. We were like, I don't know how you're lumping in Men's Day with Pride and Black History Month. Like, right. okay, but okay, whatever. So then he says, it's all dumb. But all of a sudden, Men's Day comes around and he's getting pretty defensive about his day. <laughs> Samantha B. just said, you know, another reason to stay indoors. Obviously, just a little tongue-in-cheek. He says, you're a bitch. <laughs> like, bro, you have fucking, you have a problem, Doug. <laughs> what kind of person is spending I, their time tweeting stuff like that? You're a bitch? Like, that's yeah. not even funny. That's just like an attack. Yeah. Like, I think you're a douche, bro. You're, like, not funny or interesting. You I just think you should bitch. just go pee in your basement. I just peed in my basement. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> my wife. I peed in my basement. That was Belle, yeah. It's awesome. I just peed in my basement. Um, my wife just went out for pizza without me. My wife went out for pizza without me. <laughs> By the way, he made these like super like uh, frantic videos about how he made it sound like the whole video was just about his wife. This is yeah, so psych. So weird. Yeah, it's like some Trumpism deflection where it's like, that's not even what it was about. This it's is not even close not. to what it was about. He says, You're a bitch. And then he quote tweets it and just says, Bitch. <laughs> My God. <laughs> In case somebody missed his uh, slam dunk tweet. Yeah. Dude, I, I think I have a feeling I know what the quartering feels about Harry Styles wearing a dress. That is a bitch. Peed in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're such a... This guy, she just... God. These, these people, man. Bitch. What can you say about a guy like that? So is there really nobody that wants to call in? I don't people know, but... People do want to call in. Somebody, yeah. uh... Somebody gave a hundred dollar donation. Said, "I drive three hours a week for work, and the podcast makes the drive so much easier." Oh, Thank wow. you, guys. Love to hear it. Yep. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, I'm thank seeing you. lots of members come in. I don't know what's going on, but I thank you for that. All yeah. you guys, it's really nice. See, um, well, uh, I'm at the end of the line here, so I was hoping to get a call to extend this episode a little bit, but we're we, going for uh, two hey, hours, Fred. thirteen minutes. Alfredo. Okay. Well, we'll be back next week. We've got Frenemies. 
which is going to be a wild ride. There's a lot of drama that Trish is involved in. <laughs> it's going to be a lot to talk about. Trisha has been going after Charlie D'Amelio, who's 16 years old, number one creator on TikTok. Um, is, what no. the fuck? I was I saw the whole thing blowing up on Twitter. I was just checking it out really quick, and I just didn't get it. It's still spiraling. I mean, it's I, still happening. But I don't get what it all even started over. It's, it seems so blown up. Well, okay, so... I don't. I don't know if I want to get into it yeah, now because yeah. we're gonna have to cover it all. But someone mentioned Logan defending hair. Yeah, I saw Logan. You know, this this clip's actually pretty good. Maybe we should watch this. So Logan was defending Harry, and I have to say that bring back. Um, what's his name of his co-host? Mike. Oh, Mike. Mike is Mike. such a dude. Oh, the more Mike. I see Mike, the more I dislike him. I have to say, and I apologize, <laughs> oh, but I have to oh, say, Mike. Logan. Logan really uh, stood his ground here, and I respect his position. Obviously, I agree with it. But these guys really represent, um, really represent what's out there. Like they get so, they actually get upset, and they go, uh, "It's not masculine, bro." It's like, okay, dude. I don't know what's masculinity to you, but to me, he still looks masculine, actually, in those clothing. So it's that just goes to show you, like, anyway, this is yeah. all different in our heads. Let's just, here, let's watch Manly this. Manly men? Because... Harry Styles wearing a dress in a field? So my question is, like... It ain't manly, bro. <laughs> bro. That shit bro. Fuck. That ain't... You gotta, you gotta soundbite that. That ain't manly, bro. There was some other guy. That wasn't Mike. Yeah, it's not yeah, Mike. yeah no, I know. No, well, that guy's on. I know it's not Mike. Okay. But that's the other guy on the oh, show. Why? Mike gets in on it, too. It ain't manly. What is manly to you? What does it mean? Is manly like being comfortable in your own skin and being wearing a baseball hat are, backwards, bro? Of what people think right. about what you're wearing? I get that. And I understand it's okay put the to venture on out today. and try new things and do things. And I, and I think it's great for people not to judge other people. But Yeah, man. And, just but, like you are now. Okay. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. He, can also, have can his, I, he can, can also have his opinion. Why are you getting um, combative? The, the, the idea, you guys are right, making this on, something slow, it's slow not. Down, you're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the type of people no, that will look no, at it and are like, no, men got to be men and they can't wear dresses. None of us. Suck a dick, bro. By the way, that hit the fact that he said suck a dick. I didn't see anybody pointing that out and i thought it was so funny yeah that he's going on this thing about how manly men and all this and be free to be who you are then he uses suck a dick as a derogatory <laughs> I, I i don't know why no one pointed that out i was desperate to see because it kind of undermines his argument it's funny i know i think it, it didn't it's just think a, about it yeah it's no. just a figure of speech yeah. you know we've all been saying suck a dick for so long i mean sucking it's dick just, is one of the greatest things a person can do for another person I get it's one of the yeah. nicest things. I just get like getting <laughs> so immediately heated up. You just want to say something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sit calling him a homophobe yeah. or anything. Like, I'm just saying it's fun. It's just funny. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, I think we all agree that dick suckers are some of the finest people uh, <laughs> among we respect us. Respect our dick suckers. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, God bless. Yeah. yeah. These are these are these are the people we the should be building statues. Frontline to. workers. <laughs> Frontline. Nice. <man>. Ground zero. <laughs> we love our dick suckers. Yes, we do. I would do this in a heartbeat. No one's, no one no said, one said that. I wouldn't do it. No, no one said he didn't no, do it. No one said that. What it, the notion of it, the idea of it, and the idea of him donning a a magazine dress in a dress elicits a conversation, and it's a conversation. The problem that's, is that's people are too quick to right get now. angry like you. You get angry at our opinion, and I think and I well, think I, that's I, not wait, fair. What am I angry about? You got really quick to get mad at me and Mike when? immediately. There's no conversation. You just got mad immediately. Let's yeah, because it's like, you know, your position is just sucks. Your position it's kind of like, represents yeah. hate. Yeah, exactly. If you don't get that, then I'm sorry. But yeah, I also get hit it up immediately yeah, because, when I hear stuff like that. You know, it's just bullshit. It's like, it's like some opinion. Because sorry. the next thing is to call him, oh, he looks gay. Yeah. And then like, right. it just, it's a position of hate. If you don't know what it represents, your position that's what is, it represents. Is, is aggressive. It's not masculine. You know, it's like. So yeah, it's cool that, that Logan had a good take. Although mm -hmm. I have to say, this this clip went viral, and it's like, you know, it's like Logan Paul just has to fucking have a decent thought, and then everybody's singing his praises, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Well, it fucked up so many times that... Right, when you're the you suicide know. forest guy. He's playing People. on easy mode now, though. It's a little ridiculous. The bar got lowered At so much. At least he's doing it, though. He's saying the right things. Oh, yes, friend. true. Especially when his really friends are fuck, such but dumbasses. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. By the way, his friend has a Jesus fish on his arm, which means he's like a... I think that's like a devout Christian thing. So it explains, once again, that... Candace Owen, by the way, is such a hateful fucking toxic person. To even agree with her on anything should really give you pause in life. I mean, truly and utterly, she really is. I'm listening to you, telling me you don't want to judge people, and then watching you judge people. So, yeah, I'm listening. And I'm, no one's well, judging you. I'm not anybody. getting angry, but nobody's calling anybody. you out for your flaw. You are. You're just yeah, too you dumb are. to know what you're saying. <laughs> so now I have a flaw for my opinion. Your lack of <laughs> so it's a logic. But that's like saying I just your opinions aren't just opinions. Sometimes, like I, I get, it, I run into this all the time. People go, yeah, Jews are greedy. Jews, <laughs> Jews just, I just don't like Jews. It's like, okay, well. You, you will fuck like I get mad and they go it's just an opinion I'm entitled to have an opinion it's like well some opinions really <laughs> you know yeah. yeah are is is, is you know is, it says a lot more than just somehow we can just we can dismiss anything as just an opinion because of this uh what do they say on the right the democratization of ideas or whatever or the the what is it they say like Dave Rubin says you're talking about the marketplace yeah of the ideas? marketplace of ideas Look, I just think Jews should be exterminated. What's the marketplace of ideas, bro? You can disagree with it. <laughs> Why are you getting mad? It's just my opinion that all Jews should be exterminated. Hmm. Uh, that's a fair point. I'd be like, that's a fair opinion. But I disagree with it. Um, but you're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> Fuck. So when my you... my point of view is a flaw. You're I never even yes, said you're... it is. Yes point of view is a flaw. See what I'm saying by you being angry? You do just I, insulted me. Do I look angry to you? And would well, you know what assault means? <laughs> well, he's, I, I'm telling you that your lack of logic will lose you the argument when you say, yeah, man, like people shouldn't judge people, but like this is he's not a man cuz he's wearing a dress. No, no, never once that I said he's not a man for wearing a dress. Well, you said it's not manly, right? Let's, so, let's so, in the same vein. I, you I say? said it's, it's not manly. I've, right. I but did not grow same. up where I walked around watching men wear dresses. Now that is right. my upbringing okay. and my surroundings. It wasn't my choice, and it wasn't the way I wrote it. But you can't get mad at me if me and Mike are like, you know, we don't see it. Yes, he oh can. God, he's so stupid. Listen, I just think that Jews should be exterminated off the face of the planet. You can't get mad at me. That's just my opinion. Obviously, it's an extreme version of what he of, but that that's just get tired of people saying hey it's just an opinion you can get mad at opinions right i mean yes i don't understand that <laughs> yes definitely the nazi people think that jews should die it's their opinion i don't know i don't get that argument it's, opinions yeah, I, lead to action well whatever it's obvious stupid. self-apparent um, does anyone want to call in so in the chat people are saying there's a lot of people but then zach and ab are saying they have no one what's so happening i don't know what's happening yeah well, is anyone me not messaging it's you guys not working clearly you're not getting any messages i know i literally i just I, li I just got one right now this is my first one um and let me zach? let me buy him and then i'll just go everyone just wants to talk about poop yeah, oh, yeah, guys, Why we're kind of tired of poop, poop We can't do that anymore. So no more poop um, calls. We're putting, I'm putting the kibosh on it. Anything else? <laughs> I'm literally asking if anyone has an opinion on this conversation. I don't want your poop story right now, you guys. This is not about poop. <laughs> All right. Dead air. So next week we have Frenemies, which is going to be crazy and wild. And then we have, um, we're going to try the clip show, which we don't have a title for yet, but we'll call it something like uh, Fat, Fat, Jews Should Be Exterminated, uh, React. Just an opinion. Uh, what I, like Ethan, <laughs> I like Ethan Reacts. Bad? Okay. Lame. lame. Really lame. Okay. All right. We'll just keep thinking. And then we've got um, After Dark. Do we only have three episodes next week? Yeah, I guess so. It's also Thanksgiving next week. Thanksgiving, that's true. Not that I'll be doing anything. Yeah. Doesn't really mean You're anything. Zoom Thanksgiving, for whatever that's worth. Mm. Okay. Are you going to cook, then? Not one call. Not one. 
Well, Shit. people in the chat are saying there's a lot of people in that want to call, so I don't know what to tell you. These guys are I have there's nobody there. I have one right now. Uh, Catboy, I'm a transgender guy, and I love to discuss gender and gender norms with Ethan and Hmm. Are you looking for someone to be more uh, opposing opinion? Yeah, probably. Okay. Thank you for trying, Catboy, but... Uh, all right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Stop! Yeah, well, it's Friday, anything. so thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It was another great Friday. show. Friday. Friday. And um, next week's a new week. Next Thanksgiving, so, you know, happy Thanksgiving. We can't control what everyone does, but you can control what you do. Just keep yourself safe because you don't want this shit. It's not worth it. What you going to do with me then? No. And the whole damn crew. It's not a regular flu. Oh, yeah. H3Jub.com, prostate cancer awareness. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, to all the crew, the cast, AB, Ian, Dan, Zach, we love you. We appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Stay safe. You guys all, are you guys doing Thanksgiving? I'm not going anywhere, no. no. Dan, no. No. AB, no. Ian? That what keeping it mellow. We're gonna see each other before Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, I mean, are we recording we're a couple recording episodes? More episodes. Are you doing anything for Thanksgiving? You answer the question. <laughs> no, keeping it keeping it mellow. What does keeping it mellow mean? Are you seeing someone outside your house? I have Sam in my house. That's mellow, right? That is mellow. Yes. <laughs> this does. Zach, you leaving your yeah, household? It's pretty mellow. Might do something with a friend. Not too sure. Okay. Uh, being home. Hmm. Yeah. Got a yellow warning on Zach. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's what theater. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you next week. All right. Take care. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. I don't know. You're listening to the HP podcast. Who we got on the scene? Could be Papa Shoe Nice or Bill Delphine. We talking front wipe or back wipe. What you gonna do with me then? No. And the whole damn crew. Goose and gaps with all the guests you'll see. The best podcast in the world. Take it from me, JC.